Welcome, everyone, to Keeping Candles Mysterious. We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play some of the Candlekeep Mysteries module with a few additions sprinkled in. My name is Buddy, and I'm helming this adventure while our normal Saturday night game, Cold Hard Witch, is on hiatus. If you've joined us for our other adventures into Candlekeep, you might notice some old and new faces. Let's see who we have tonight, shall we? <clears throat> we have Jade playing Carolus, the Yuan T, pure blood warlock of the genie. We have Rodney playing Cesar, the human tempest cleric. Pike playing Bertram, the half orc paladin monk. Mama Distracted playing Keed Aridani, a centaur star druid. And Evadaris playing Alexander, the half elf spirit bard. How is everyone tonight? Super. Ah! Last week, our band of adventurers clarified their plan to stake out the tax collector, Farrell, and tail him back to his house where they would try to get some relevant information from him. That's important because I thought it was an, an assault, uh, an, an ambush, but they clarified that it was just a stakeout. They resisted mightily the urge to turn the trades ward into a bloodbath, and I, for that I must recognize them. They, they were, they were very good. Uh, they would not let me taunt them, uh, no matter how hard I tried. They held their water until the bad guys forced their hand. Keed performed a very unique on-demand skill, and the rest of the party charmed or put to sleep uh, the forces outside. They captured Feral and escaped the city's guards and Carolus's genie bottle being carried by Keed. A clutch modify memory spell from Alexander relaxed the situation greatly. When we left last week, the party and their new friend were camping by a roadside and were about to start their overnight watches. So, friends, anything that you uh, want to discuss before we get into the, the first of the watches? Does anyone re remember which watch <laughs> we had all agreed to? I, I had all of second. Them. Yes, I am Sam. I feel I like the Buddy has written them down. I have. Uh, I anything before the watches? Were together. Uh, I will go ahead and use my uh, Tales from Beyond. That, yeah, that feature. And mm -hmm. Buddy is already aware of what I uh, I have ready. The, the tale of the mind bender for those uh, who are aware of what that might be. Nope. Alrighty. That sounds good. I will, <laughs> I will um, be casting my good berry to, you know, feed everybody tonight before going to sleep. Amazing. Good berry is one of those clutch kind of druid uh, things that I, I always miss it when I don't have a druid in my party. Mm -hmm. Jax has got it, but he calls it his rat kebabs. <laughs> I, you know, I never knew that. I, I it's like the whole time. I always I was like, just thought rat kebabs are rat kebabs. Yeah, yeah. Trying like, to give everyone rat kebabs because they're basically his good berry. That's hilarious. The more you know. Um. All right, any other uh, oh, points quickly, of order? Thank you to Mama for 300 bits. That's a D6 inspiration. Ooh, oh, let me get over party. here. Let's to... roll it. <laughs> uh, do you want me to use the Inspire button, or do you want to roll them straight out? Inspire button. All right. Uh, Cesar, Cesar with Hell 19. Yeah. So Cesar, awesome. has a, that's, a, that's a D6. Mm-hmm. Imagine if Mama down here. <laughs> What's that? I haven't been able to win anything recently, so that's all good. Uh, all right. Any other business? I'm going to take everybody's packs and pile them up so that I can lean on them to sleep. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'll allow it. <laughs> Same. <laughs> She's just going like grabbing upset. bags. I'm clearly upset that I can't sleep in my bottle tonight. Oh, yeah, because I used it already. Get a rough it under the stars. I look for around uh, for where my bed's been set up, but no one set it up yet. <laughs> <clears throat> I have imagined you just leaning on key, but 
we'll get to that on the second watch. <laughs> uh, all right, so then we'll progress into the first watch, which is Cesar and Alexander. So how long have you been uh, hanging out with these guys by chance? Long time? Short time? It seems uh, like a long time. Yeah, me, me and Bertram go back pretty far, and uh, I think uh, Careless has just always been around. He's just always around? He's always around. He's right over there. <laughs> you take, we, came in, we came in for a job one day, and we're like, all right, you, 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 and I guess you, you, him, along with us, and he just stayed ever since. I can see that. I can see that. He looks like the kind of guy that would just show up and do whatever you don't ask him to do, really. <laughs> yep. Yep. Banishing people. Fire. It's, it's all... It's, a, it's never a dull day with him. Have you ever seen him do that little, like, black eye thing before? That was no. weird. No. No. Never seen it, and I hope I never had to be on the receiving end of it. That was crazy, right? Mm hmm. Right. Well, do you, do you happen to know what might or might not be out in this part of the woods? I've never been over here before. I don't know. Oh. Oh, Wait, so do I know? Be... <laughs> on 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 asking that and having this exchange, uh, will one of you, and I don't care which one, will one of you roll one d six? That's a three for me. All right, so a three. <clears throat> you uh, he asked if you if you know of, you know anything that might be around these woods. And you don't, and you you both kind of look around a little bit, and uh, you look up skyward, and you see the beginnings of just a huge meteor shower. Uh, I mean, there must be I, I don't know, uh, nearly a hundred, just tiny meteors leaving streaks of light through the sky, and it's it's all it's all actually kind of beautiful and and breathtaking, but. You do notice that after a few seconds, some of them change their path drastically and just head entirely in a different direction. Now, I spent a lot of time out on the sea looking at the stars to, to chart me way about, but in this is confusing as hell. So I can't tell you where we are or where we're going because Look like them stars out there got their mind of their own. As far as being worried about what's out here in the middle of the night, I just kind of like tamp the uh, my trident on the ground and you just kind of hear like the rolling thunder in the air. As long as you got the sky above me, Calypso's got me back. Does she help you see better at night as well? Temp temp tempest clip. Storm, I don't uh, anymore with the. We'll be fine. It'll we'll be fine. You'll, you'll, you'll see. <laughs> I'll see you see. Okay, understood. I got you. So the the rest of your watch continues uh, uneventful, um, other than the strange and beautiful and creepy uh, meteor shower. Um, your watch is at an end. And the next watch up is Carolus and Keed. So I'm assuming you wake them. Uh, do you tell them about the meteor shower or do you just hold that to yourselves? No, I'll tell them. Uh, don't know how much you know about the stars, but the meteor shower ahead is, is not normal. Mm. Are we sure it's a meteor shower completely? No, maybe something is disguising disgu disguising itself. Uh, I, I want to um, see if I know. I'm going to look up at the stars and see if I know what's going on. 
Well, the, the meteor shower of which they speak has, has, has passed. That was, you know, a, an hour or so ago. But from the description, it is nothing like you have ever heard of. I mean, meteors come in, they travel in a straight line. They never, ever change course at, you know, 90 degrees and go off somewhere else. So it is definitely right. something peculiar. Do, do I know anything that might alter something like this? Hmm. What would you like to roll to see if you do? You got something in mind, um, I feel like. Arcana? Sure. Give it a roll. That's an 18? You don't know for sure, but you, you feel like you have heard of powerful magical rituals sometimes being able to uh, to change natural happenings. And so a meteor shower is is typically natural. So you, you could surmise the 18 that maybe somewhere off kind of where it, it changed, there may be some sort of powerful magical effect happening. All right. Um, I'll repeat it to uh, the, I guess, the three that are currently awake. Um, so it's possible that somebody's doing a ritual that is extremely powerful and can, in fact, cause things like that to happen. I like magic. Unsettling, considering mm -hmm. what we're looking for. Yes, so why don't y'all get your rest? We'll keep an eye out. Sounds good. And, uh, you're... You're staying up with me, Carolus. Ah, oh, okay. okay. You're the yeah, one who I volunteered. I did, didn't I? It's you did. It's a strange thing because obviously I usually sleep in my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to do watches then, you see. Oh, well, somebody's got to do a watch, else the bottle will be stolen. Or maybe I, even I crushed. I usually hide it first. It's not been found yet. Alright. Well, you two go get some sleep. We'll, we'll keep watch. Alright. Y'all play nice. And I pass out. I crawl into the centaur-shaped uh, indent of our of our bags. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's warm. Because it's warm. <laughs> does that look as comfy as it does? Yes. I, uh, share I, it. Okay. <laughs> so, I just want to. The, the point of order is that I have little different things written out for everyone, and the only th only thing I have for Careless and Keed's watch is Yowza. So I'm interested <laughs> to see where this goes. <laughs> so Careless and Keed, you are on watch. So I'm excited. I, How, what do we do? I've never done this before. Uh, well, you've got to keep watch. Look for anything that's dangerous. That's not yourself. Um, and, you know, make sure nothing bad happens while the rest of the group sleeps. I'm going to, uh, touch my forehead and cast, uh, uh, what's it called? Dark vision. Oh, okay. Oh. What did you do? I made it so that I can see in the dark better. Well, you can't do that already. That's bizarre. Okay. No, not everybody can see in the dark naturally. Uh, mine's not naturally. How far can you see? Um, normal, normal distance. What's normal? Sixty feet, no, norm, normal distance. Say, and, and it'll last for eight hours. I'm I cast darkness on ourselves. Can you see now? Can I see? <laughs> no. I it's don't darkness. know that dark vision looks no, through magical, magical <clears throat> darkness. Can you see? No. No. <laughs> Can you it? undo that? It, because it's magical. This is meant only for natural darkness. Well, I can see through it. I'll turn it off. Is that true? Can you see in magical darkness? Devil sight, yep. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. 
Oh, that's, now, uh... so I'm a druid, and I work with natural magics. Okay, I have no idea what mine is. Obviously, I'm a genie, half genie, well, half genie. So mine's, I suppose, gifted, special, really special. Possible. So what do we do for food? I'm hungry. I gave you. Uh, I'll hand him one of the leftover good berries that I've got. Eat it. It gives you one health, and it's filling. I kind of want some meat. Can we see any animals around? Um, roll a perception. Perception. I've got plus six on perception, so ooh, twenty-three. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, up in the trees, you, you see kind of some little scamperings about, some very small things like perhaps squirrels or something like that. Um, you know that it would take quite a number of them to make a meal out of. Oh, I want something big. Is there nothing big I can make a meal out of? There's a centaur in your camp. Mm. Can't eat horse. <laughs> um. Did you just say that out loud? What, what, no, I didn't. I'm looking for something to eat. Something like meat. You probably I'll, have uh, rations, go... yeah? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into my bag, which oh, I piled on dish. top. I piled on top, and I dig through um, a little bit to get to my rations, and I'll hand him whatever I've got. Oh, these are nice ration things. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a handful of, of some some very fine dried meats. Oh, I'll have some. Some, uh, some nuts, some some other, you know, shelf-stable sort of things. Oh. Probably not as fine a dining as Carolus wants, but... Uh, I'll eat some of them. And then on our watch, if I see anything like a rabbit or a deer, I'll Eldritch Blast it. <clears throat> if if you, you Eldritch Blast it, it will destroy it. You won't be able to eat it. Uh, my my magic doesn't do that. It's it's not force magic. It will not it's not force. It. It'll just it, you know like when you get a nice big bit of steak and you just hammer it and hammer it and hammer it to make it tenderize. It's it's a little bit like that. It'll just be tender rabbit or tender deer. Okay. Do you eat deer? Yes. Is that not a bit weird for you? I could technically eat anything. Deer is not horse. I won't eat horse. That's oh, like the that only thing really I weird. won't eat. But... Mm. Is it not like you know, I wouldn't eat something else with two legs, for example. But you wouldn't eat a monkey? I've never tried monkey. Can you eat monkey? Yes. Hmm. I mean, don't go for the endanger endangered species, but yes, you could. Huh. Huh, okay. uh, what were we meant to look for, anyway? Just anything. Anything Perfect. out of the ordinary. Anything and I do want to... <laughs> Um, I do want to take a good look around, you know, oh, while well, he's... Same. Well, good. One of you, and I do not care which one, please roll me 1d6. Go on, Mama. That's a six. Right, Eldritch Blast, so... <laughs> On a six, uh... While you are kind of looking up, uh, uh, perhaps maybe drawn by the story, Cesar's story of the meteors, you, uh, you see a bolt of lightning slowly trace across the sky. And, and by slowly, I mean it. it is, you've never seen lightning this slow. It's almost as though it's being drawn with a, with a piece of chalk. Mm -hmm. um, it begins in its normal kind of whitish blue color, you know, crackling off and and, 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 uh, and branching as normal. And then the color begins to change to a vibrant green color 
and then it ends in a deep, deep red. Um, and then oh, it is no, gone. No. There is there is no thunder uh, that accompanies it. There's no rain that accompanies it. Um, but again, definitely something along the the weird lines of the meteor storm. I'm going to assume it's the same reason. It's quite nice. Is it? Is it? Is it going in the direction that we're heading? Hmm. Roll a roll a perception. Roll a map making. Uh, roll a perception, I guess. Or survival. If you can tell me some of the, maybe a survival. The survival will probably be better. All right. I got a plus eight on that. Plus three. That's an eleven. <laughs> um, it, it's. It, you see, if you guys are heading this way, it was kind of off, not maybe 90 degrees, but but almost 90 degrees, kind of from where you are. So it, okay, it is well, not I don't know. I don't know how the road's going to change in our um, ahead. So, well, with an 11, that is certainly true. All right. So that is not good. Why? Oh, it's some really powerful magic being cast. Nice. What do no, you think of nice. the lightning, I like it. I think it's pretty. Uh, do I get anything from it? <clears throat> anything such as what? Any knowledge or anything. What do I think it is? Uh, well, you think it's pretty. Yeah, I um, it's pretty. I, I, you've never, I mean, you could make some sort of roll, but you've never seen anything like it uh, with it's your pretty. own eyes. It's very pretty. It looks natural to me. It's not natural. It could be. No, lightning is generally a white, maybe sometimes a blue if there's clouds behind in front of it. It could be feeling unwell. Oh... Uh, I would not be surprised if the magic's tainted. Tainted? Did you see how it went from the natural color to the green and then the dark red? The red, yeah. It was lovely. I think it I was sick. That. Yeah, sick. So no, no, ill. Ill? Yes. Why would it be ill? It's lightning. No, no, the magic that's causing that change. That's not natural. Oh. I might see if I can try and do it with my magic. <laughs> change it up a bit. And so this this kind of circular conversation continues for the, the rest of your watch, which is uneventful. Uh, there are no more strange um, oddities. Uh, and it is now time for the third watch, um, assuming the two of you wake up uh, Bertram and Farrell. Yes. I will wake up Bertram, and I will let him know what I saw in point in the direction describing. It, it ended up going in that direction, um, so... It was sick. Yeah, it was <laughs> grotesque unnatural and then Cesar and Alexander saw a meteor shower and that was the sick, uh too. I wish I'd seen that you didn't see it I wish I'd seen it so uh Keed has awoken you and told you of the the strange lightning and of the meteor swarm the meteor shower that Cesar witnessed um Farrell is still asleep though because no one has woken him should we wake him? Uh, he was supposed to be on watch with you, and you might be able to get some more information out of him. I uh, uh Alexander's asleep. I can't even ask him. Do we? Th I mean, do we trust him? Is whatever magic Alexander put on his brain? Do we? Uh, do we trust that to hold? I don't know. Any, uh, I don't know the details. 
It looks like it worked. We can always wake him if anything goes wrong. I'll sleep lightly. You can wake me too if we need to kill him or kick him or if he tries step anything, I trample I'd, him. I'm pretty confident I could I could handle him long enough until you guys well, uh, got together. Uh, so I'm not, I, I am, I'm not I am super worried. Very glad to trample him. I tell you this right now. We could make it look like an accident. Yes. I mean, would you would you defecate on him first, though? Mm, no, I don't need okay. to. You're All not right. even worth taking a shit on. Is what she just said. Uh, no, she hasn't had a hearty <laughs> meal since this morning. Well, you had that good berry. It's filling. Yes, but that's well, how filling. does that work? <laughs> it's the magic that's used in it. Uh, I don't know. It's like Lambda's bread. <laughs> so, all right. So let's wake him. And uh, if things go weird, I'll let you guys know. I'll just keep an eye on him. Uh, okay. Sound good? Yeah. I'll I'll yeah. I'll nudge him awake with my foot. I am going to go attempt oh. to curl up in my spot. I will apologetically pull the the pouches and all of that <laughs> over so that I can lean on them again. I will scoot over and make room. <laughs> Just and in his sleep, this tossing is, over. Whoa, whoa. This is this is where I wish we had folks that did fan art because uh, Keith <laughs> and Cesar cuddled up on the bags would be fan art of the week. Um, For sure. Yes, you uh, you wake Farrell and he uh, he is, is is happy to 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 sit watch with you. Yeah. Come sit with me, Farrell. Ah, oh, absolutely. Ah, oh, God, it's been an age since I've done this. I, Back in my young days, before I was collecting tax payments, we would uh, we would often go out and and do things like this. But I've not slept under the stars in quite some time. Were, were you an adventurer? No, not really. Mostly just a punk ass kid. We would think that we were getting in adventures, but uh, mostly just causing minor amounts of trouble and then getting away from the authorities. It sounds like a lot of kids that I grew up with, yeah. Also, we tried to start a, a tavern band called Punk Ass Kids and kind of fell through, you know. Oh, you know, in that would have been ways. sweet. That would yeah. have been sweet. It happens. So, uh, also, just a heads up, there's been some weird phenomena in the in the sky lately tonight, so just keep your eyes open and let me know if you see anything weird. What what kind of weird phenomenon? Uh, man, the way they described it, like like shooting stars that change direction, or or lightning that seemed to be like moving slowly through time. Like it what it wasn't like a lightning strike. It was just well, just I, like I don't I don't know what the shooting guy. I don't know about the shooting stars, but I, I've definitely seen lazy lightning before. It, you've seen lazy lightning. Yeah, it's it's in we've seen it in Greenfast before. Curious. Oh, uh, under extremely. under what circumstances? Like, uh, uh, how does it seemingly, happen? Seemingly, seemingly a normal night like this, and uh, maybe leaving the the pub, headed home, and notice everyone's looking up, and you look up and. And you see it. Um, it. It's. It doesn't happen often, but it has happened often enough that none of us really think a whole lot about it anymore. But definitely, I mean, definitely strange. That was my question. That doesn't seem odd to you that that just around Greenfast that there's. Well, I don't odd, know that it's just. I don't, I don't know that it's only there. That's the only place I've seen it. But I, I mean, a Greenfast for is. As, as great a town it is, it's mostly a farming settlement. The um, the as long as the, the the crops come in and don't have some abnormality, the the farmers are happy to take anything as a as a good omen. So, 
Does your employer own any other property other than in the city? Does he have any property in any other cities? If he does, he has someone else collecting for it. The only ones I know about are the ones in Waterdeep. Fair enough. So if there was other odd things going on, you wouldn't necessarily know about it. Odd in what way? Like, Do you think he's operating like, a lightning like, company? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just saying it would be it would be suspicious if uh, this lightning just happened to be in the same places where he did business. That's all. Oh, hmm. that's that's true, I suppose. Uh, but uh, again, I I only know of the ones that I collect for, which are in Waterdeep. Fair enough. Uh, looking at the sky, is there anything else weird going on? Roll me a perception. As he sees you looking up, he will also look up. And he will roll a perception Ooh. as well. Not great. That's okay. He actually got a pretty good one. Uh, 10 total. Uh, he got a 19. Okay. Um, and the nothing out of the ordinary in the sky. He um he, he will look up though and and kind of show you. His, oh, and, and when I've seen the the lightning, it, it kind of normally runs like this. And as he as he speaks, the sounds around you, the the forest sounds, begin to fade to nothingness. And even his voice seems to be getting farther and farther away. And he looks down at you as though he's having trouble hearing his own voice. And suddenly there's just, there is just nothing. There is, there is no sound around either of you. He, he can't, he can't hear himself, and it seems to be asking you if you can hear him. If I snap, can I hear it? You cannot. Uh, you okay. cannot hear him, and if, if you try to answer him back, you cannot hear yourself either. It is completely, completely silent. Okay. For uh... six, seven, eight seconds. And then... As quickly as the sound went away, it slowly kind of fades back in. And it, it can, it, Bertram, can, can you? Ah, uh, 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 that's weird. Uh, uh. What was that? I don't know. I, I know there are spells that can limit sound like that, but normally it's more sudden than that that's that seemed to, to fade yeah it, it it rolled in and then rolled out i don't know i don't like it yeah um, kind of can i that. can i take a look around make sure there's sure yeah. You want to roll a an investigation or perception, or do you want to walk out and kind of walk, or walk around? Wanna, what, are you, what are you looking yeah, to do? Let me go out about thirty feet and just take a a quick kind of look around the campsite and see if I can see anything. I'll rustle a couple bushes and see what I can see. Yeah, Rosso. Yeah, your your choice: investigation or perception, whichever you feel like you're higher in. Uh, let's go perception. Because as a monk, you're uh, high in int skills? No. Perception <laughs> is wisdom. Oh, it is a wisdom, though. Yeah. So I got a 21. Everything um, everything seems normal. It, um, the forest creatures you can hear again, like the, the insects and, and things like that. And kind of as you get close, you kind of hear noises of little scampers of things moving and, and the insects kind of retreat away from you a little bit. It, it, just as it's been the hundreds of other times you have camped outside. Okay. Um, then if there's nothing else, then we'll just go back to watch and see if 
anything else happens. Uh, is there anything else you want to discuss with him? Otherwise, the watch will end uh, and it'll be morning. But I want to give you the opportunity if there's anything you'd like to know. No, I've got, I don't have anything else right now. Okay. Your watch uh, ends without further incident. Um, the, the sun is rising and you hear, uh, uh, you know, again, normal sounds. And you begin to, to wake everyone. And um, yeah, seems like a normal morning. As people are waking up, I just want to do some, some like meditative yoga type stuff, some some stretches, and just get working on the day. Okay. I am going to start passing back everyone's uh, bags and strap mine back on me. Thanks for letting me use them. No problem. So, Farrell was a. Uh, telling me last night that he uh, he's seen that kind of lightning before, Keed. It sounds it it's fairly common around Greenfast. Somewhat Even common. Even with the color change? I don't know. It doesn't mm. normally change color, Feral. I... That is kind of a new one. I, I don't know that I recall it ever it, having changed color. I am going to gesture into the sky from where I saw it start mm. to where I saw it end. And then I'm going to say at about this point, it went from the natural whitish color into a green color. And then at this point, it started going into a dark red color and then it ended. And there was no, there were no clouds or other atmospheric mm -mm, oddities? Nothing, nothing that I could tell. No, uh, I mean, they had seen and I'm going to gesture at Cesar and Alexander, they had seen meteor shower previously, so no clouds, no rain. You can see the ground's dry. I didn't do anything. Carolus you, you didn't see, do anything I'm except you for see cast him, a you see him thinking, stupid thing. <laughs> you see him thinking Darkness and, is and thinking, uh, like, like thinking really hard, and he's like, uh, I feel like all the times I've seen it, it, it does slow and it traces a similar pattern, but it's always been white, whitish blue, the, the color of lightning. I've never seen it change color. See, we're special. We no, it looks color. like it was diseased. Like it Ugh. was tainted in a very unhealthy way. It was really pretty. We well, also had our own... Uh, occurrence last night i don't know if they're all related i mean they must all be related shouldn't must they what happened uh, one, one would think it was like a a wave of silence just kind of washed over us for a few seconds and then kind of washed out and everything came back that sounds exciting i mean i was i thought, I was less, I thought we were being ambushed honestly uh, uh, initially, it was exciting, but then it was a little bit fearful. You shoot yourself. Uh, it would be unnerving, I believe. Usually, when animals and um, no, 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 it was everything went silent. Everything. everything. I... No animals, no insects. He looks at Bertram. I, I he couldn't hear me. I couldn't hear him. He tried snapping. Nothing. Cesar, where did when you saw the uh? meteors and meteorites change direction did they all go in like one space or what direction did they change to they all mostly i'm uh, oh, sorry to answer for you cesar but i don't know please I answer because i was gonna they, ask you what they did they, they uh they were all coming in a line and then the ones that changed direction kind of scattered off to several variant directions away from the direction that the main pack was heading so it's not it's not they did not all turn to go to one place. They were they scattered almost. Kind of like if you threw sand at a bubble shield then did that? Sure, yeah. something like that, yeah. Yeah, okay. they 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 weren't all drawn to one place together. It's as though they got scared and turned away or they hit something and turned away. All right. Um, I want to 
Um, can I think of any spells or anything that might have any of the three reactions or side effects? Well, I mean, certainly you would think of silence, but it is that is normally an instant. You, mm-hmm. you hear things and then instantly you don't. But the way they describe it, it kind of washed in like a wave and crested and then kind of washed out. And that is certainly something you've never heard of. Um, and I've, I've seen a mage, like a magic missile bounce off of a mage's shield, sort of like you're describing those meteors, but nothing on that large of a scale before. And I'm not sure any of you have ever seen or heard of anything that can slow down and change the color of lightning. Mm -hmm. Especially not since Feral has has seen it more than once. Yeah. The the slowing part. I think we should uh, hurry. You said the uh, lightning, slow lightning only happened. Lazy lazy lightning is, is what we call it. Lazy, late, okay. Lazy lightning is only happening in Greenfest? Well, I've only observed it in Greenfest. It may be happening other places, but I have only seen it there and now here. But but again, we're close. We're maybe an hour from Greenfest. Hour, hour and a half, maybe. You're telling me I could have slept in the bed last night? <clears throat> well, yes, but the stars, man. Beautiful. But with things like that happening, I think we should head quickly. I agree. The, if nothing else, the, the magic in the area seems unstable, and that, that worries me. All right, so is that the plan? You're going to head toward Greenfast at a, a slightly increased pace? Pace? Yeah. Pace? Yeah, I, th- I think that'd be good. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, so you guys travel on. Um, it, uh, it's a fairly easy um, easy journey. Uh, not far from where you camped, you actually turn off of uh, this main road that you know, which is called the Tradeway. Um, you, you turn slightly off of it and, uh, and walk for a little while. It's a very well-worn path. Um, and ahead of you, coming into view, you see the village of Greenfast, a small farming settlement. Um, so I'm trying to get the map changed over. Oh, good. You guys get to hear my diatribe on non-color maps. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a small farming settlement. Uh, it lies just a short distance off the tradeway along a broad creek flowing in the t- into the Deseran River. The Greenfast is a prosperous community whose farmers take advantage of the proximity to the tradeway to sell to both Waterdeep and to Daggerford. And so uh, you guys are all coming in. Oh, I guess there should be a, there's a feral token with you. He's just not there. Um, you are on the upper, upper left side there on the road. Uh, while we have been traveling, I would have uh, gotten another tale from beyond just to uh, have it ready for the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, which would be number five. Tale of the Avenger. Getting some Marvel movie crossovers in here. <laughs> we don't have that kind of money. <laughs> no, we no but we will when Hagen Das <laughs> sponsors us. Oh, it's true, it's true. And we'll all just be drowning in ice cream. Which is uh, what just as fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I really want ice cream now. I might come back from our break with some. Sponsored by Kraken Dice and Hagen Das. okay, so uh what would you guys like to do? I'm looking around. Um, yeah, it, uh, I mean, it definitely is is a a farming village. There's more to it, you know, than this. There are some larger farms out, um, I love the out map. further. But 
the style of the maps really um nice. i want to hang back a little bit because i want to see what the green fast villagers reaction is going to be to feral showing up with the i guess sunnier disposition than he left with yeah i'm wearing his hat interesting that's true uh do you still have his hat yeah Okay. <laughs> I, love that. I great. I want to uh first uh you did say we got a long rest, right? Yes, I'm sorry. Uh, long rest, everything is recovered. Um Okay. Uh I am going to cast Druidcraft and um see what the um what was it? Uh, the weather is like going to be in this area for the next 24 hours. Um, the for the next 24 hours, the weather is supposed to be uh, just like it is. It's it is bright and sunny. It's just a, a very mild breeze blowing. Uh, it is quite quite pleasant. All right. I'm wondering if this hat is the latest fashion in that city of Avernus. <laughs> Have you what? have you been to Avernus? No, well, I'm hoping it's nice. I well, are you are you going to Avernus? Yes, that's where I've got to go next. How I always hear that's kind of a rough place. Yeah, it sounds like a bad deal. I try to get out of that one if you could. That's not really my choice. But we'll see when I get there. And say, don't don't let the uh now I'm gonna screw his botch's name up. What the heck is the dude's name? Master Thomas. Don't let don't let Thomas push you around like that. Oh, it's not for her, it's for my for my creator. Got it. See the warlock thing I'm always I'm always iffy about careless. I mean Are you talking about your know. dad? Yeah, you do. I, you do. You I careless. I guess. Could be my dad. Yeah. Did it just take one to create you? Or did it take two, like everyone else? That's a good question. I've never really thought about that. It must have been mm. two, surely. Do you get your powers from your dad? Well, yes, of course. He's a genie. I never put that together, careless. He says it all the weird... time. You guys have a weird relationship. Carol oh, is just that. kind of like looking to all of you as you speak and is a little bit honest. bewildered, but very interested. Yeah. Uh, sorry, oh, Fair, we're, the we're holding you up. Uh, well, I, I, my assumption is that we have all been walking. Um, okay. I was, to hope, I was hoping that we didn't stop. Um, yeah, the... I will tell you that there there is a tavern uh, in town. It is uh, just ahead. Neat. There's a, a a building that is uh, kind of shaped like an L. That uh, I've got the ping going on. Turns it um, eggs, bacon, over tomatoes. There. The uh, the bulging the bulging cauldron is uh is is probably the finest place in town. I mean, it, look, let's let's be real. It's not like fine dining, but uh. But, but they have some pretty good food. It's a pretty good drink. Occasionally they have a, a bard come through and play a little bit. Um, but uh, as you're as you're passing, he points out that this establishment here is his house. This is I will. Um, I think I will take my leave and, and freshen up and see if I can find a hat that's maybe almost as good as that one. But uh, I like you in that one. Coming to the pub. So, uh, yeah. Let me let me freshen up and and check in on uh, on my my hands and and make sure that the 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 farm is taken care of, and um, I'll I'll meet you there. Nice. Sounds good. And so he walks with you until you get to uh, this bridge. Yeah, buddy. Did you put us in the river? You know what? I'm glad that you said that. Because <laughs> it's the river. There we go. This is the problem <laughs> with non color with maps. Having a map that's not colored. <laughs> I love the art style. Whoever did it. 
but a little bit of color would have helped, right? Even just some shading. I love the. I don't even need some blue. shading. Yeah, just a blue would have been nice. Uh, apparently, with all the money that we give them, they can't afford colored pencils. At Watsi, uh, so he will not walk that far. Then he will separate from you here, uh, and you can see that there's a couple of hands in the field, and they're they're kind of taking care of some crops and and moving some wagons around and they wave to him and he waves back. Uh, I'll meet you there in, you know, a, an hour or so, maybe. Sounds good. Sounds good. You know where to find us. Uh, and he will, he will shake hands uh, of all of you. And I, I must say, it, I still don't quite know how we, we happened upon each other, but it's been a, it's been a very exceptional uh, 24 hours. Thank you. We can explain it in the uh, uh, alehouse. I'll take you up it's on that. It's quite a funny story. I look forward to hearing it. And with that, uh, he splits off and and heads down and begins checking in with his uh, with his hands to just to make sure that everything's going okay. And as you're walking on down, you can see that after just a little bit of exchange, he heads for. Uh, this house here and goes inside. I mean, Key, that was a bluff. We're not really going to tell him that we totally changed his memory, right? No, no, we're not. Gonna, I'm going to tell him that I met him in the leather shop and he looked really stressed. He did insult me, but then he apologized because I will get him to apologize at some point. <laughs> <laughs> and That's then a... I introduced him to you all. That's really con. important to you, isn't well, it, Keith? I, I, I don't, don't like... He said that I was in there to buy a saddle. What's wrong with that? Oh, kid. That's... Your part horse, let's, aren't you? let's not tell... Uh, let's, you can't, let's just tell him uh, he I, really liked our stuff and he I, wanted Keith, to hang out with us. I, let's I, not tell him you met at the leather shop. As no one, I mean, obviously you're kind of fascinating, but has no one ever like, rode one of you like that? We don't need saddles if that's needed. And we like to be asked first, or we take it upon ourselves oh. to do so. It's not, we do not like the assumption that we are just a beast of burden. I have respect for horses. Most of them choose. You, you can tell which ones choose not to. But most of them do choose to be ridden or used as a beast burden. Oh, okay. Fair enough. We'll get them to apologize. If it's that important to you. For sure. Oh no, we can just make him think that he already apologized, we were gonna and then he'll we'll probably apologize enough. again. Let's not say that too loud, careless. Not too loud. Well, we did promise to the idiot in the shop that we were gonna. Okay, we can do that later, but we don't have to actually tell him that. Oh, okay. Well, what did you want, rather know? We're going to tell what? him an altered version of what uh, happened. Okay. And then kill him. Right. Anyway, eggs bake them. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'll walk into tavern. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so you guys head to the bulging cauldron. Ew. Um <laughs> right. sorry. I love the name uh, of this place. The uh this tavern has a, a warm a warm homey feel. Um it is there are a few locals inside kind of finishing up you can tell that since most of them are are farmers and stuff that you've missed kind of the normal breakfast time for many of them but um but there are still a number of folks in here that are that are, that are eating and it um it, it seems very just kind of congenial and you walk in and they look over and it's kind of some surprised faces and like, oh, oh 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 travelers um and uh, at the bar is um, is an older man 
uh, change. I thought you were going to say is Mickey, I... and I was about to throw a fit. <laughs> uh, it's an older man who, who sees you, and then a, a big smile creeps across his face. And he's like, come on in. What uh, what can I get for you? Eggs, bacon, tomatoes. Eggs, bacon, sausages, tomatoes, sausages. Big breakfast. Yes, please. Uh, I'll take one as well. And for you three? Just uh, same. I was yeah, going to go it. for something simple, but at that point, that sounds like more work. We'll, I'll take the same. Yeah, the same, same, as, same as them. That uh, that sounds great. Uh, you can see him. He he turns around and and through a little window that heads into the back, you hear him kind of speak the order to a couple of folks, and you hear some some noises, some shuffling in the background. So. What uh, what brings you to the sleepy little town of Greenfast? We don't don't we get a whole lot of travelers in here, and uh, what ones we do are normally on sightseeing trips or looking to broker new vegetable deals. We don't get many, dare I say, adventuring types in here. We're uh, currently looking uh... for a job. Yeah, we're we're on a break. Like you said, sight sightseeing, just passing through. Yeah, you sightseeing or are you looking for a job? Mm. A little bit of both. Both. Oh, we, he we heard that maybe somebody in the area might need somebody. Oh, I mean, there's always work to be done in, in the fields. Uh, I'd, I'd much rather be here if that were me. I, uh, my talents are much more in talking and pouring drinks than in you know, loading carts. And well, that's why I got cooks in the back. Um, I know where I know where my where my talents lie and it's not sweating and sweating it up in the fields uh, but yeah if that's what you're looking for I could probably get you some some names of folks that are looking for people well we weren't looking to do do we look like the the handy man type of people the kind who would like to work out in the fields uh, you don't but folks uh, folks change uh, what they do with their lives every day so that's, I'm not here to judge Yep, we'll all become beasts of burden today. Isn't that right, gang? And I look at everyone deadpan. I could... Our, you know, our Tyrannosaurus Rex is beast of burden, so I could do one of them. Now, I had never seen one of them pulling a plow, but I bet you could plow it up. That could work. How much gold? Is that a euphemism? Hey, you hear this? You right, yeah, that's right. That's right. I heard, you I heard that one, too. A plow. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure I get the joke. He's not taking a piss out of me, is he? Ed, I honestly Ed, can't he, tell. He, 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 I don't. Do you, do you, I'd like to roll insight. <laughs> I'm going to look for a table that I can sit at. Uh, all the tables in here are pretty small. The, the can you sit? To, the best place she to laid. order. She <laughs> <laughs> I would say the best place for you is probably there, there's there's a kind of a curve in <laughs> the bar. Did you forget you was a centaur? <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a curve in the bar, and so you can actually can kind of like it too. You can kind of yeah. Okay, I'll up into I'll the curve sit there. there. Okay. And I'll actually sit. I've got my hind quarters sat down. My, my <laughs> I'm trying to picture quarters. what this looks like, and my mind can't do it. <laughs> so, someone Google a whole sitting. <laughs> like... You know what? Use incognito mode because that might pull back something. <laughs> uh, the bartender looks over. That's that's the goddamnedest thing I've never seen. That. What can I get you all to drink? Uh, forgive me. Uh, my my name is Old Fargo. And uh, this is my place, and uh, is for not offering you drinks yet. Um, I like. What time of day is it? It's morning. It's. Oh, I mean, maybe okay, like then. I'll have a ten wine. o'clock. A wine. Oh, ten o'clock wine, okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, was that? Was that a red wine or a white wine? Oh, just gotta be red. Okay. I mean, a lot of <laughs> folks here day drink white wine. <laughs> What's wrong? With oh no. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look. No, do it. Out. Look at it. I, I'll have to. I'll have to copy it and put it onto a different screen. Because <laughs> if I click on it, it's just gonna come up. It could come up on roll twenty screen. Put it on the oh. Twitch screen somehow. 
Because oh, I can see this. Destroys, destroys Twitch with oh my picture God. of horse sitting. Right, I will um, put so this. a red, just a as red wine for you. As I thought it would be. A red wine for you. What for the rest of you? It just some it, tea yeah. would be nice. Thank you. How, how about a sunrise? You just would you? You'd... There we go. It's on screen. <clears throat> I'm good with water today. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh man, I, you know what? Because of the look at that, that your breakfast and drinks are going to be free this morning. Because <laughs> <laughs> old Fargo, I ain't never seen no shit like that. Um, and right, see, red wine. Has, has to lean forward to reach the bar. <laughs> so you would have to sit on the floor to have your torso at table or bar level. Yes. So can we use your torso as a seat? I will not be trying that. Okay. Right, no. so the drink, whatever you got with <laughs> you got Okay, a red, a red wine, a tea, a sunrise, a water, <laughs> and what about you, my man? I shall just have your finest and most expensive glass of water. Mm. Hundred I'll gold. See, see what I can do. And uh, he he turns and and begins kind of putting putting your drinks together. I you, have uh, to ask. Mm, please. Are the people in the kitchen taking peeks at Key sitting? Oh, so the folks in the kitchen are maybe the least of that, but yeah, for for sure, you saw like a bunch of eyes kind of look over the the edge of the counter there, and then you hear them get back to work. But the the normal kind of like chattering and forks on plates that you hear from folks eating in a restaurant has all has all but stopped. I mean, Bertram, you get that that silence wave kind of feeling when you look over your shoulder, and everyone's just kind of. See, it's weird. It's unsettling when it happens. This is kind of like what it felt like last night. I'm going to ignore everything around me until the plate is in front of me. The uh, gradually, like as as Old Fargo brings you your drinks, the the noise kind of picks back up, and it, it becomes less of a less of a thing. And and folks do mostly seem to forget about the the spectacle of it. So, you're just passing through, sightseeing, looking for work, but not really tough work. What, uh... I mean, some people would call it what do you do tough. tough. Yeah. Hard manual labor is probably the word we would be used in this situation. We'll, we'll fuck some shit up. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll... His words, not mine, but it boils down to about the same thing, I suppose. Do you have any killing work that needs doing? I mean, let's. Okay. <clears throat> Roll I mean, an insight check, Carolus. Like an old ex wife or. Of natural 20. <laughs> 22. <laughs> so, even, so what I'm going to say is this is less about careless intuiting this and more about when, when careless asks that, is there any killing to be done? You see for sure that the his demeanor changes and kind of under his breath, he says, well, there's some people that need killing, but... Uh, and then he kind of shakes that back off and he's, and he's right back to the old Fargo that you knew just a minute ago. Uh, but uh, again, I, I run, I run a tavern. I have a couple of rooms to rent occasionally for, for, for staying overnight. I uh, unfortunately don't, uh, don't hire for things like that. Our, uh, our, our brains connect and telepathically. I speak to him. Who speak your wish, and I may grant it. Can he speak back, or is that one way telepathy? No, he can speak back. It's basically just message. For oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, 
Well, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I couldn't. And he starts that in his mind, and then actually out loud says, "No, no, I, I, I couldn't. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just a, a, a tavern keep." Okay. You ever having any troubles here? You well, can, you can trust I, us, Fargo. I haven't. Uh, I haven't seen my son in uh, in a month. Your son? <clears throat> yeah. He's, uh, would would he be considered new Fargo then? If you're old Fargo, <sighs> that is the most ridiculous thing that I think I've ever heard. His name is Young Fargo. <laughs> Hashtag look it up in the module. It's old Fargo and Fargo. Did you, okay, no, buddy, you have. Did you come up with Bulging Cauldron, or is that also in the book? That's also in the book. I don't Legal. believe you. Illegal. What? You don't? That sounds just it as ridiculous. It absolutely is. Green, green Fast, Area G2, The Bulging Cauldron. Good lord. Yeah. Um, he, uh. <laughs> so young. Fargo. Yeah, he uh, he fell in with a goddamn group of sycophants that follow that son of a bitch around here. Which uh, son of a bitch? Again, again. It, it, uh, old, let me check on your food. Fa- no, 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 no. Come back. Old he, ex- he, <laughs> tell us. he exits for a moment to the kitchen to help getting the your food plated up. All right, guys, don't worry. I got this on the next go around. When he comes back, I'll talk to him first, okay? Let me talk to him first when he comes back. Don't, I, don't wipe just, his memory or anything like that, okay? Look, I... I, I don't need have, to do that. Not this time around. When Bertrand says, don't fuck with his memory, I'm looking towards the door to see if if is going to be coming in soon. Uh, you don't... You don't yeah, yeah, you don't You don't see him coming in. You. There have been a couple of folks who, who have left... Uh, and they distinctly are like avoiding their their gaze at you. Um, but yeah, no one no one new has has come in. Um, Fargo and and one of the 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 kitchen the, the cooks in the kitchen come out and begin distributing plates. And, and I will say that this cook takes no notice of you. Keed is like, oh, and uh, here's the your your plate and and yours and is. Um is is just totally fine with you and uh, the cook heads back into the kitchen and uh fargo says what well, let me know let me know how things are if i can get you anything else oh real quick old fargo um i do have a very um peculiar request of you uh i would love if you would tell us more about what your son young fargo is able to get into and who it might relate to to that person you might want us to take care of and as i do that cast suggestion on him what's my save on that 17 wisdom wisdom i'm going to tell you it is very close however he does stop and he, he looks up at you. <sighs> he started uh, running around with a group of followers that follow that goddamn rat fuck Vialis around. He's, uh, he is, is building himself a an estate away from the village uh, an hour or two, I think. And uh, he keeps bringing all these these people in, these ne'er-do-wells, and they scoop up the young people and make them think that uh, they want to be part of that. And like I said, it's been a month, and I have no proof but I know that bastard is at the heart of it. Your wish is my command. 
I've got to get used to saying that, but so you want us to kill him, basically. All, all I actually want is my son back, but let's say whatever it takes to get that done. Uh, What's he look like in case we don't kill him? My son? Oh well, yeah, you know, we don't want to kill him, do we, if you want him back? I would assume he would look like him, just younger. Oh well, yeah, I mean, he looks a lot like me, just just, just younger. I don't know, Skinnier, like fatter... Uh, oh, he's skinnier, more hair, more hair on top, but uh, strong, strong features, though. Now, other than That's the no... I when I was young, Fargo. Other than not hearing from him for a while, do you have anything that would suggest that he is in in danger or anything like that? That would make you immediately... Any rumors? Have you seen anything? No, uh, I mean, but uh, I know that the the mayor's daughter has gone. I'm sorry, the daughter. I'm sorry, the mayor's sister uh, has has been missing for a couple of months now. But she she was following in with those sons of bitches as well at the same time, and she fit. She's gone. My son's gone. Kind of starts to lead a lead a trail down that path, don't you think? Uh, certainly. I, I didn't mean to call you into question. I was just trying to see if you could give us any, any more information. Gold, yeah. No, I, 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 I have over, I don't, don't even know why I told you that much. I, I've over, I've overspoken. I, I, I should not have, should not have put this burden of, of knowledge upon you. How is you your are parent and I... you are very concerned. That's all. Did he, How old yeah. your son? He 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 wipes it's wipes away some dust. It's a little dust when you say that, and he turns and he's he's doing some stuff at, at the at the back of the bar. Oh he's uh he's 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 a man now. He's you know, he's just just past his twentieth year. That's he, still a baby. Uh, I was going to say, is oh, he well. a man or is he still a boy? Well, I am going to cast a boy wearing a man's food clothes. and drink on my food. Okay. If I push my plate up against yours, does it count as it's under eat the mine. same spell? I'll eat mine Just... straight out. Does it count? Sure. Yeah, I mean that within a five foot radius, that's ten feet. So you can basically hit everyone's plate unless they want to be not within five feet of you. Oh no, no, I pull mine away. I don't just taste it, and I eat mine up. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. <clears throat> so nice. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, it's. Then I go. Ah, ah, oh, I ah. accidentally cast it twice. Oh. It's okay. Oops. So yeah, here. He, uh, he uh, he he kind of sees he, he's looking back at you guys in the the mirror at, at on the bar there and he's kind of wiping a glass. You weaken, I can trust you, but uh, you don't trust me, huh? And he's got a big smile, that, that that big kind of gregarious smile that he had when you first came in. He has managed to put that face back on. I'll just and he mind. chuckles. Yeah, that's. That's the risk taker. That's he's the one I like. I like him. She's like that with everyone. Don't take it personally. Never do. If I took things personally, I could not have been tavern keep for as long as I have been. So I how believe much gold that. Do you want us to get your son back? But you're already granting his wish. Why are you trying to get gold out of this? You're granting oh, the man you wish. <laughs> did I you do it said wrong? It. Oh, I did it wrong again. <laughs> You're going to have to talk to your dad about this kind of stuff. Yeah, you Just... kind of worked that deal backwards, I think. <laughs> how, how about how about this? You, you bring my son back to me, and you uh, you always eat, drink, and stay at the Bulging Cauldron for free. Oh, that sounds good. That's Hot good damn! Deal. Let's do it. Good deal. Like, for, it. Okay, fine. For all of the times that you're just passing through green fast looking for a job while you're sightseeing. And he, I'm he gonna say chuckles. aside to sir, I will make this a point of being a stop in any job <laughs> I you. 
it's it's so out of the way. How are you gonna come through here all the time? It's a nice <laughs> I like the village. Uh, yeah, I mean, town. Yeah, if you Maybe. lived in Waterdeep, it'd be it, you could go there pretty frequently. If you lived in Daggerford, you could go there pretty frequently. Is there anyone else you want us to kill? But we'll obviously range for money for that one first. <laughs> All I want is my son back. However, <sighs> however you need to do that to get him back is, okay. is of course your choice. Let's do it. But all I need is my son. I've eaten. Let's go. Well, hold, hold, we're, we're going. Hold, we're going. Hold on. Do it. Hold. So if I've like got my first m mouthful in. <laughs> I I am just chowing now. I've stopped talking. I'm just eating. The, the so food's if, good. I mean, it's it's greasy spoon food, but it is like you know when you go to a place and you're like, man, this food is really shitty and terrible for me, but it is so good. It's yeah, kind of like why that. you go. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's why you go. All right, guys. Well, we're so done we, with this. Sorry. I have sorry, to sorry, charge sorry. up myself for a little surprise later. <laughs> uh, anything like, you don't we get finish some whole on wheat bread over here? A, 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 a good loaf of multi-grain bread. To the table. L listen, Golly. there's enough butter in the food that you're eating. You're not gonna need. You're not gonna have any trouble charging up for a, a quick release later on. That's ah, how good I hate ah. everything that you just said. Shut up. <laughs> Do you hate that worse than Bulging Cauldron? Yes! Uh, <laughs> it's pretty close. Mike's a tough crowd, everyone. Oh, I, God. I really am. I can't stand it. <laughs> when we're all done eating, we should take an hour. I would like to communicate with the spirits. However, I do need at least three of you to be beside me while I do this here. This is like your silly... Are you trying to... Car? put us into a cult no 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 that no. sounds oh, like a cult sounds like a cult oh, so. no i just need you guys, guys to hold hands and sit around a table with me for like an now, hour we don't and have I'm to talk we don't have to walk out do the anything Thank you for i the just food. i just need three of you to stay with me while i do it. have a do it. session good. with spirits oh yeah oh yeah have a seance in the middle of the restaurant yeah i wouldn't say i mean we can go to a room hey old fargo oh hello <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's like right kind of there, like watching all this transpire. Yeah, yeah. What How you much need, for a son? room? How much for a room for like, I don't know, just an hour? That's the weird. I, I know how it sounds, this, but don't no, think about it that no, way. No, no, no. We can go outside. We can do this outside. We can. Door to the inn has slammed shut at that point, and Keith is outside. Do it. Just do it here. I'm ready. We yeah, can't she, uh, seance at breakfast. Was that not tradition? I mean, it's it's not really a rule that you can't seance here, but it's kind of a guideline. But uh, and guidelines are just guidelines. You don't have to follow them, guys. No, you, Let's we, all hold hands for I'm a little bit. My don't touch like me. <laughs> Ow, why? <laughs> Trying to do I, a seance in a meal table. Trauma true. <laughs> What's a seance? It's when you um, when you summon the spirits to talk to them. I mean, they're just going to talk to me. They're not going to talk to you guys. As you're just talking about seances help. And, and talk and talking to spirits, you notice some of the other patrons like quickly finishing and, and kind of standing up and and getting out quickly. And he's, oh, oh what? I wait, no, wait, come here. I give I give you ten gold if you sit in a seance with them. Uh, they're, they're fucking gone. Key, they're, they're like patrons. It'll give you, it'll give you not, 50 not gold. like. Not uh, not constant, but but like, like one or two every minute that are just like, oh, uh, pardon me, and and no, 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 no. he'll, he'll give you fifty gold. He'll give I, you fifty Jake, gold to sit. I don't want to do it. Fifty gold, right here. If you sit with the man here and listen to him talk to some spirits, hundred gold. There, he'll give you hundred gold. There are no takers. Thousand. You'll give him no, a thousand. The, right? the more gold you offer, the worse it sounds. I, I think they're already <laughs> out. <laughs> Yeah, the, right, the place right. is basically empty now. Remember that that Farrell told you that it's it's a farming community and farmers believe in omens. So you summoning oh. spirits in the bar and then increasing mm. the money to be part of it doesn't bode well for their, uh, yeah. their corn this year. And scary, I just don't want to do it. Guys, I just want to talk to the spirits so that way they can like teach me their ways for like 
today. Just I don't just, need to know. Uh, 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 fine. Fine. Just, okay. just teach me their ways. It's just an hour. Dude. Who knows? Beryl oh might my. walk in and we can talk to him once we're done. Oh or he might hard. join. Like I don't know back. how to read him a little bit, to be honest. Rel- relax, Caesar. Hold my hand. I'll pat it. I'm You'll gonna sit like I'm gonna stay in the bar, but I'm gonna move to a different table and no, just no, watch. No, no, he needs three. We need three. He needs three. I, come on, bro. He's got I, I you. I need all four of us. Oh, I thought you said you need three. Come, come. Yeah, no. Alexander. Oh my Me hand, and three others is and what I was going for. Under tree. Alexander, this is a big ask, my this friend. This is great. Hold my hand. Yeah, that's why I don't want to do it. Uh, Caesar will give you five hundred gold. I gave you fifty gold. <laughs> Fargo is uh is, is like pulls a bottle off the shelf and just like pours a little a little nip and is just kind of watching with great <laughs> news. Caesar will give us fifty gold. Come on, do it. I I give you a bunch of fifty gold if you do it. Alexander, you owe me. I'll sit down. I don't like it, but I'll sit down. Oh, you and Bertram, I heard that. All right. But I know I did. It was one name. I said it was Bertram. <laughs> so the three of you are going to sit down with him for this hour. Is that right? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as you begin to do that, Keed, you are you are outside, and uh, if you yep. look ac- if you look across um, the the street, uh, just just kind of over here, uh, there is a a woman uh, outside tending her garden. In public. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, trim it, just trim it up a little. I mean, it's not like that major so landscaping. Oh, <laughs> that was boy. good. Uh, uh, do you have Do you have inspiration, Mike? No. Take it. D twenty. Excellent. Pa- apparently, I can cast uh, summon undead and then get the spell slot instantly back. If you uh, do, you do you do that while we're in the bar? Well, I already scared everyone out. You don't need to scare more people. <laughs> okay. You, you, you uh, a there's a woman right garden. here. You mm-hmm. said tending yeah. her garden. Yep. Um, I'll ask her if she wants any help. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, oh. Well, uh, yes. If if uh, if your thumb is green, then uh, then then we are friends. Um. And she introduces herself and extends a hand. Says, uh, "Hi, I, my, my name is uh, is Kara. I'm the uh, I'm the mayor of the town. Uh, what what brings you what brings you through? Just traveling or uh, looking for work? Kind of, oh, but not. <laughs> you have found not some. The farm. And... <laughs> you not seem the... to have found some with me. And she'll she'll show you the the what she's doing with the garden if you want to help her." Uh, I will help her briefly. Um, I'm really just waiting for um, my uh, companions to finish up their breakfast. But I'm ah. glad to help you as much as I can. Yeah, uh, yes, that would be amazing. And so you uh, you begin to help her, and she uh, she's very you know very uh, congenial and. Ask you how you like the town and just kind of kind of small talking. Okay, uh, I will um, continue with the small talk. And uh, so, while I was in eating breakfast, mm. someone oh, mentioned yes, at, the, at the tavern. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're, it's gonna sit, hit you like a brick later. You're gonna have to have a nap, but but it's so good. Somebody mentioned that some of the younger folk are disappearing. Um, we, well, yes, they 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 grow up quite 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 quickly. Um, you, they never have enough time with them, do you? I haven't been a mother yet, so mm. not sure about that. But if if uh and. So they're leaving town. They're not missing. Uh, um, well, I, it, everyone that leaves is missed. Um, I, she, she is. There's been a, a change in her demeanor. She, she's deliberately being a little bit cagey. I will. Uh...
I'll tend to some of the plants for a little bit and silence, let her relax a little bit. The, um, you're doing a, a far better job than her as the seconds tick on the, the quality of work she's doing is, is deteriorating a little bit. The, um, the, nothing about the silence is, is calming her. And roll a perception. all right. Oh, perception. Uh, yeah, let's get roll a perception. Uh, yeah, it's every every every. It, I just I, I just am having such trouble with, with this uh. With with with, with this this particular thing here, you notice just, it, it, not like a, a single but like just almost a stream, of of tears just tightly rolling down, the cheek that's closest to you. I, it's just I, 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 you know, I my my sister was always better at this than I, but uh, but but I just I don't know why I can't do. It. We're we're so we're so similar with everything. I don't know why I can't do. This. She's just babbling and she's just kind of working herself up into a froth. Okay, perception was fourteen. Um, I think you need to take a little bit of a break. Um, I'm gonna take her by the hand and set her down over by the uh, steps in front of her house. And I'm going to actually lay yeah. down in front of her. She's trembling. Are you okay? Make a persuasion check. Please. That's a natural 20. Ooh. I don't have, I have a plus zero on that. That's a natural 20. She, uh, she, she is trembling and she looks just deep, deep into your, uh, sorry, I was watching the chat go by. Uh, she just, she looks deep into your eyes and then just bursts into tears. Um, <clears throat> and it takes her a few seconds, but she finally regains her composure. Um, well, it's nearly, nearly two months now, uh, since my sister, uh, Yeda, which is another name in this module with an A-E in it. Fuck you, wizards. <laughs> um, my sister Yeda uh, fell, uh, under the sway of a local noble and uh and 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 begin working for him or i don't know working with him or maybe she's working under him i i i just i just don't know but it i i don't i don't like him he makes everyone here uneasy it's, he's supposedly building a a, a new place, uh, and I, I, I have sent letters that have gone unanswered. Um, I have, have tried to, uh, tried to go and visit only to find my path blocked with, you know, broken wagons or those unseemingly looking highwaymen blocking the road. Uh, I, I, I just, I want her back. So I get it. No, no I'm, um, I'm not okay. Two months. Mm -hmm. The tavern keeper's son's been missing, missing for a month. And yes. we were going to go look into it. Do you know anything about the um, uncanny she, she, weather last she, night? She, she breathes in just kind of the deepest breath that you've ever seen someone take and and again tries to regain her composure of that um the weather um uh oh the 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 lazy lightning uh it it happens here from time to time but the uh, yeah this is it, it's it's enough that we don't even really notice it much anymore how long um, has it been happening Oh gosh. 
three, four years, maybe. Uh, less often at the beginning and more often, more recently. Uh, maybe, maybe once, once a month, once every three weeks now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think we've just kind of tuned it out. Just like we've tuned out letting our loved ones disappear. All right. Um, do you have a map of where they're working? Or where they're supposed uh, to be working? I can, uh, I I can I can I can draw you something up. Uh, please, please. And she wipes the tears and 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 the she takes her gloves off and kind of knocks the dirt off. Please come in, won't you? And she opens the door and invites you into her home. Um, I'll get up and shake off whatever dust I have, and I'll duck through her door in. I'll try to. You know, small steps so I don't knock anything over. I don't know how the inside of her house is. Uh, it, yeah, no, it, it's there's plenty of room. It's not like it's an old lady place where there's knickknacks upon knickknacks upon knickknacks. It, uh, there's plenty of room that you can walk and, and feel comfortable. And now okay. back to my creepy boys over in the tavern. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alexander, you have just convinced Cesar. Bertram and Carolus to participate in some sort of ritual with you where the spirits will just chat you up a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Says our five gold this goes bad real quick. Uh yep. 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 It's only gonna go bad if you all talk like that. And I'm gonna pull out tarot and then uh mm. put it in the middle of the table. And we'll just kind of hold hands and I'll sing. Or I won't Why sing, are you I'll... so sweaty? Wipe your hands off. That's gross. <laughs> to, to whom are you asking that? <laughs> That's <question>. Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just get I get such a rush. They just kind of you know they just, you know it how makes it, me yesterday... nervous that you're nervous. Oh come on, uh, but you're that. Oh my hand fell off. My hand fell off. What did you do to me? <laughs> you remember how yesterday you were saying you taste death? That's totally different. That's different. Well, though. don't judge me. That's, that That's weird. <laughs> I was so hoping that Bertram, you were going to say that it was Cesar's hand and he was going to be like, well, I'm a Tempest cleric. Hello. <laughs> Tempest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please continue. Uh, and for the next hour, we're just going to kind of hum kumbaya and the cards will just start flipping themselves over until they land on um, the innocent uh, card. Careless, you're don't, super into this. It, not only are they beautiful be cards, but now they play themselves. I'd love to be able to play with myself. Uh, I don't know. I don't know to hold mm. his hand while he say that. <laughs> oh man, I can't. I can't imagine. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, which, the talk, which hand am I holding? <laughs> the talk that that mm. Careless's genie father had with him. I've never been so glad to have one prosthetic hand in my life. <laughs> he just takes it off. <laughs> you say you need to hold my hand here. Just hold the hand. No, no, no. Okay. We, give me the nub. Give me the nub. No, no. Don't touch me. I'm put the hand back on. Don't touch. <laughs> All right. So the uh, the innocent comes up. Uh, yes, it's gonna come up and. As it um, lands face um, normally, uh, you guys will see a uh, your basic ghastly spirit kind of come out of the card, and it'll start kind of swooping around us. Not paying attention. I, I'm just sit, humming along to kumbaya, kumbaya, and it just kind of just keeps going around everybody and then it'll just kind of like go into me and stay in me you don't see it like phase through the back or anything like that so Bertram and, I was thinking of doing a different tint on me armor what you think 
uh like more of a like a deeper purple yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that might be yep that might be nice mm-hmm. i think that would be mm-hmm. good yep I'm just watch aggressively it. trying not to look at what is going on. Watch, it's really, really clever. I'm not seeing this trick. You're, you've seen spirits before. I can raise the dead, it's fine. Now we've, we've got our own ghost now. Be scared of And for? the ghost will have taught me how to cast Locate Creature for the day. I only have it for one day. Thanks to Spirit Session. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. What's next? Yeah, are we done? Well, Is that what it? Else can you, what yep, else can it, you do? It's in me. It's staying for a little bit. And you know what? It. Don't be surprised if I just say some random ass shit throughout the day. It, and look at Carolyn. Kind of set, set set. I'm waiting for the punchline still. It, you, was, you needed an hour to do that? Was that no took completion? an hour? Well, to get stronger spells, yes. I, I need more people for an hour. I could have just sat in the corner by myself and done it. But with four people, Why I did you stronger spirit. Uh... Well, it's I... just like it's just like with elementals. You got like your little baby elemental. Then you got okay. your mama elemental. Then you got your daddy elemental, like grandma and granddad. You know, just... I feel like this is a bad time to bring up. I could have prepared locate creature if you told me to. <laughs> oh. Well, we didn't know we were looking for young Fargo until now, didn't we? Uh, just, yep, yeah, yeah, true, true. That's very now true. we can go look for him today instead of what tomorrow. He could be dead by tomorrow. We could don't first, say that. Old up. Fargo's shut right up. over he's there. Random. Yeah, like, like he's like there, <laughs> and he was having a drink, and he stops, and he looks at you. No, he's fine. He's fine. If he's dead, I'll bring him back. If we he's dead, care. I'll bring him back. He'll be good as new. I'm going to cast suggestion and say, you never heard that. You f- you'll forget it forever. I never no, said I'm that. Out. I'm walking, Magicking walking out people's this brains. Now. You got to stop doing that. Uh, 17. Have you all paid? Yes. Well, no, hey, no, no, here. Well, <laughs> you said it was free. He did tell us breakfast was on him. Because of the the centaur thing. Well, he did, but Alexander just said I cast suggestion and tell him that he has never seen us. And uh, that, that Alexander just oh, that doesn't uh, work like that. No, suggestion. I was just saying, work. forget what I just said. I wasn't saying the whole whole encounter. Okay. Just just like the last thirty. Seconds. That would have been oh. the greatest fucking thing ever. Oh god, I would have had to use a fifth level spell yes. slot to fucking fix oh, that. It. Oh god. And then I can persuade uh, him that we'll get gold for for free and his son. Uh, no, I'm not charging him on to bring back his he, son. He, he, his eyes kind of glaze for a second, and and he looks in the glass. There's a little bit of cork in there. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So what did this? What did the ghost do for you again? Now, taught him to spell. Hmm. It's ah, it high. It's, it was disappointing. Can, can you just like learn that from a book? I'm not a books wizard. Are, books are for nerds. Uh, who is this? I think. Uh, is this I think maybe he just wanted to hold y'all's hand for an hour. Oh, I don't mind. Sweaty well, boy. He's and, very sweaty. And he's got, he's got he a big drunk? smile. It. <laughs> well, he has just had like a glass of whiskey for an hour. So yeah, maybe he's a little tipsy. Remember, guys, but, two dudes and a dagger. Walk it out. Walk out walk, on that. Nope, done. Done. Walk it outside. Keed. Yeah. Can't believe you made me a part of this. And I'll stand we, up we and walk out. To Sarah today. Should we, should... If you guys are walking out, Keed's not standing outside anymore. I'll walk out. It's good breakfast. Thank you. How uh, did we lose okay. the centaur in the small farming village? I mean, I we're know. supposed to be waiting here for what's his face. Uh, Is he coming around? Okay. Does make anyone a, make a perception check? Anyone seen right. Feral? I have not seen him, 11. but natural one. 27. <laughs> I can see his house. <laughs> oh, I, I'm looking around for uh, or he- listening for like the clicky clacky of a centaur. I'm not gotcha. worried about Feral right now. Uh, so yeah. I got the clicky clacky of the centaur. <laughs> a, a 22 for the clicky clacky. <laughs> 
Um, you, uh, you definitely, Alexander, you see where her hooves went across the street. Um, <laughs> Bertram, you see Carolus like right in front of you. Uh, Carolus, move! Karen. I'm trying to find. <laughs> Oh. Uh, Cesar, you do not see uh, you do not see Feral anywhere. There are a few folks kind of just going about like normal kind of business, um, you know, going to the to the market for for some things or or you know pulling a or towing a, a donkey behind them that that has some stuff strapped to his back. But you don't see Feral anywhere. Mm. Bertram. Yeah. I had a feeling we might, if if we don't find Pharaoh sooner rather than later, we may have got to cut the town before he finds us. Yeah, well, it sounds like most people know where. Um, cause I'm terrible with names. What is this dude? Uh, the guy we're look, the Vialis. guy we're looking for. Vialis. Vialis. Yes, sounds like most of the people know where Vialis is uh, building his manor house. So if, if we lose him, I think we could probably catch up with him over there. Right. But if we, we, if we, if we find Pharaoh, we can at least go to the manor house under the, the assumption that we're in earnest looking for work other than like I have a better term of witch hunt. I mean, wasn't Pharaoh supposed to be giving us some kind of introduction? Wasn't he that was, point? but... If I ain't seen him in a minute, and now I'm a uh, concerned. Yeah, I don't trust that spell that Alexander put on him. It is a soundproof spell as long as we keep up the act, and I don't know if we've done the best at that. But he but seemed we fine last go night. Find him. Yeah. Uh, do, you... do we look around? Do we see? Do we see Keed? There's no Keed. Uh, there is a, Alexander saw Keed. where her footprints went across and uh, across the street to a to a house there. Do I right. see them kind of like stomping around the the bushes and then like going up into the house or no? Yeah, we'll say that just in the interest of time. <laughs> <laughs> this after this an way. hour long seance to get locate creature. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you can lead them across the street, and, and we'll say that as you as you get there, um, Keed is is exiting a house um, with the the woman that you see in the other blown up picture here, uh, and they they seem to be having a a pleasant uh, conversation. I want to try to make sure to keep Farrell's house in view if I can. To see if he comes out or or not, I'm thinking we might need to just go knock on his door. Well, we'll say you can you can easily do that because you know that his is this this first one here. Yeah, it's this one you said, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Say, I think if he was suspicious of us, he wouldn't have like just outright told us where he lived and all that. I, something's not right. Maybe. I might just throw this out there since we're all being really suspicious of him. He wanted to get away from us so he could try and process everything that happened. Mm, we should have stayed on top of him. We could have kept the lie going. I think he's gonna break it. Mm, damn. More is I that about possible? This, the more I don't like. Wait, did can he can he just remember that we that you put a spell on him? Keyed about this time, you and the mayor both happen into <clears throat> your party, and you you hear that they're, I have that they're to speaking. Ask, was there only one step up on onto her like yeah. porch area? Yeah. Okay, then I can handle going down that. Yeah. I, okay. I got you. I ain't gonna put you in no weird situation until it's my benefit. <laughs> um, uh, uh, thank you for the map. Uh, we will do everything that we can to either find out what's happening and get her back to you or you. to uh, uh, stop whatever is happening. And... Uh, do not place yourself in danger on my account, but 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 thank you. Any information that you can 
that you can can get I'm, I'm sure would be able to use hello hello my my name is is Kara I am I'm the mayor of of Greenfest uh, how how are you all oh I'm Kara uh, f- oh. fine oh. these are my companions Ooh, good and, name uh, Oh, I like your... <laughs> she, 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 she shakes all of your hands and, and says hello. Have you seen Feral this morning? He was supposed to meet us for breakfast. A flash of disgust goes across her face and then she fucking catches it. Uh, I I have not. I, I've not seen him uh, t- today at all. And then she notices, Carolus, that you are wearing his gaudy red hat. His big red hat. His she, signature red hat. <laughs> and, she, and she cocks her head to the side and just her, her words just trail off. Do you not like it? Uh, 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 no, it's it's a wonder. It just, it, it, is that Farrell's hat? Yeah. I've never seen him take it off or, or, or let anyone even hold it. We won it in a card game off him last night. We didn't? I, I told him. I, I I warned him not to bet against Carolus. Carolus is oh, a master, but wouldn't listen. Yeah, that that makes sense. He uh, let's just say he's he's very good at overplaying his hand and thinking that uh, he has you don't everything like in him, order. Do you? I like all the she like pure politician lacquer right now. I like all the citizens of Greenfast. Um, even the part-time ones that disappear all the time. That's oh, you're right. You're done. You're done. You're gonna sit back here. You're gonna <laughs> shut up. But you're gonna shut up is what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm just gonna go into my brain and start thinking. Could he have broken the spell? Could he have broken the spell? I know how. I spell am works. going to explain to all of my companions. I have just made an agreement with her that we will assist her. What's going on. Hmm. Oh yeah, we gotta go kill. Uh, what's his face? <laughs> Stop saying that out loud. Did Did you say that out loud? Yeah. Did you say his <laughs> name? No, I said what's his face. Mm. In either case, you can see just the <laughs> hint of a smile start to kind of creep on her mouth here, and she quickly and rigidly <clears throat> kind of like you know wipes that away and goes back into a well. Uh, uh, surely, I hope that whoever this person is is not a citizen of Greenfest. Um, is there anything else I can I can help you with? I've I've drawn Keita a, a, a rudimentary map on uh, on where Lord Vialis's new residence is. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't know why he would have left his old one. It's perfectly fine. And she points across the street. To that was gonna be my this, question. This house here. Oh, ah, sorry, I'm on the wrong layer. I was just gonna say, my, are you pinging? I, yep. My my pinger was working, but it was on the wrong layer. <laughs> so she points to this house here. <laughs> Up that, on the hill. Yeah, that is Lord Vialis's house, and there's nothing at all wrong with it. It's a very fine house. I don't know why he has to build. You know, I it's. Every citizen's business is their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Is there anyone up there now? Is there anyone uh, left in the house? Uh, not that I know of. Uh, he, I don't know that anyone lived with him. He's not seemed to have taken a, we murdered a wife family, so. since he moved here. Um, although oh. there have been there have been rumors of, well. Uh, no, I do not think anyone is there. Two two questions. One might not be uh, is a little indelicate. The other one is pretty straightforward. <laughs> <laughs> one might be indelicate. The other one is straightforward. I'm loving this. You know um, what, gonna, it, that might be the title for the indelicate and straightforward. Please continue. <laughs> uh, Kuya's, could you send a, a message into the candle keep for us? Candle keep? Um, Not candle keep, no. Um, where did we just come from? Water deep? Water deep, yeah. 
oh, uh, 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 yes. And she sort of kind of pats around and finds a scrap of paper and a scrap of parchment and, and a pen. Uh, well, uh, Arnulf was the name of the guy. The the the. The night guy? Me, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm asking I'm, I'm asking you, but uh, Arnolf was the butler. Was the butler. Oh shit. Okay, hold on, Arnolf. Uh Vecken? Sir Vecken? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. I have the names but no descriptions in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Sir Vecken. Sir, okay, Sir Vecken. Let's... Um come to Green Fast. Uh and then head. And out, are we going south from here? Uh, I'll well, pass him the map. South would take you to to Daggerford. Um, uh, uh, well, t- here, here. Tell tell him to the to send it to to Savak and tell him to 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 head to where we're going next. Uh oh uh, oh to to Lord Vialis's new estate. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can. I can do that. Tell, tell, tell him to, to Why come would we want ready. Him there? Come ready. Okay. Come ready. Oh, Help with so the we can up. prepare, locate creature, but not sending. I could also prepare sending, which I didn't do today. All right. Do you want mass heal word or not? <laughs> <laughs> well, then. I, I guess I, I am <laughs> useless here. No, you're not. Yeah, you are. You are a key member of this group, and you are invaluable to us all. And I'm uh, yeah, as a beast of burden. She uh, Just... she finishes writing all that down without noticing any of your shenanigans. Um, <laughs> yeah. Any uh, any other anything else? Um. Why are we wanting him to come? Here? Yes, actually, can you send um a note? for me to um um the rose was it called the yes raphael at the rosen buckle she searches around and turns that uh, piece of parchment over uh okay rose <laughs> and buckle and uh, let him know that uh should he wish to move his business from Waterdeep, I know of some place that he could go. And that's okay. It. And she, I want to send writing. a message as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, you can see that she she puts that piece of parchment in her in her apron and and pulls her. It's just writing on the back of her hand. Uh, okay. Uh, too big guy. <laughs> Big guy. Sorry okay. for giving you the death stare. <laughs> Sorry for giving you the death stare. Yeah, like I was. Lo- I looked at him and I nearly killed him. Uh, uh, oh, that's that's a powerful look indeed. Uh, uh yes, uh, big guy, the rose and buckle, and Sir Vecan. Uh, How is this going to uh, get to Big Guy? You don't even know his name. <laughs> oh, it's Big Guy. Um, why do we want to send anything to Sir Vecan? We've never even met him. Is, is there anything else get... I can I can help you with? Nope, I think that'd be all. We've taken up enough of your time. More than enough, yes. We yeah, really we appreciate it, it, and like I said, we'll do what we can. Thank you, Keed. Uh, and have a wonderful day, the rest of you. Uh, and she r- rushes off, like looking at the three notes that she has made and wondering how now she's suddenly the fucking letter bitch. I say, uh, <laughs> say, 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 give her 50 gold. You got to pay for this sort of stuff. Oh, uh, uh here for, for uh, the, the post. She's already gone, Cesar. She's already oh, gone. Oh, oh, no, it's, it's I'm the mayor. There are a few special perks. No, we insist. Fifty gold, say. We just have to give him away. We go, <laughs> careless. <laughs> uh, okay. What would you guys like to do? I'm gonna whisper over to Cesar. I think I've spent too much time with careless. I'm saying some shit I don't normally say. 
is it uh yeah that's what happens when you hang around with us for too long um so team do we want to look at uh Farah's house or go into Violet's old house uh, well, I think we made some promises and we're gonna have to go take care of them because I remember he's not gonna get the true what truly happened back but he might be able to piece together that some things are not lining up the way they should. So let's uh, avoid him, check Veril is his old house, and then get the hell out of here. I was going to totally flip-flop it. I want to check on Feral, ignore the other house, and get our butts down to the new manor. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, we can split up and a couple of you go take care of Feral, and the rest of us check out the house. Never a good idea to split up high. I don't like it. Mostly because it doesn't save any in-game time. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Do you, do you have inspiration, Bertram? I, I do. Okay, okay. That's why I gave it to you earlier. Uh, all right, so Vialis' uh, old house here or Feral's house? Vialis' uh, No, Feral's house. Feral's. I vote Feral, yeah. Yeah. Feral, yeah, we'll go feral. Okay. We'll go feral. <laughs> uh all right. You make your way over to uh to Feral's house. And um the uh, the front Give door is uh, is actually the the front door is just a little bit ajar. That's mm. not a good sign. Let's go in. I'll walk in. You guys open the door? Yeah. On your guard, everyone. Let's go. Field out. And Wait. And that is where we're going to take a quick 10 minute break. Oof. Cool. Kick in the door as Keith goes, wait. <laughs> wait. Uh, isn't that always the way? Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> we'll see how, how well I trust Jade this time. Uh, so. When we last left 10 short minutes ago, the party had decided to um, to forego going to Lord Vialis's old house uh, and go to Farrell's house since they hadn't seen him in the last, um, you know, hour and a half, two hours. He said he'd be over at the bar in like an hour or two. So I don't want to say they're jumping the gun, but um, I don't want to make their choices for them either. So we rejoin. We're going to change the map here. Uh, this is a, a larger map, Jade. Uh, it's kind of in the lower yeah. center portion. I've got it. And, uh, I've got you. We'll see how this how this works out. Um, Bertram had uh, had approached, and the door was slightly ajar, and he was about to knock. And Carolus said, I go inside. Yep. Is that, in fact, uh, what and we're doing? And Keed said, wait. <laughs> and Keed said, wait. Uh, all right. So, Carolus, you open the door and you step inside, you said? Yeah. You open the door, and if you'll move yourself one square inside, you. there is, there is a, a someone in familiar looking robes. Ah, good day. Good day. Is my mate Feral here? I've got his hat. I'm sorry. He has been called away on other business. Like, Won't you come inside? I am inside. <laughs> yeah, you tell you tell him, Carolus. <laughs> won't, won't your friends come inside? Come inside. I'm not coming inside if you're talking like that. Um, I'll I'll step the, in. There's there's a there's a, a a spattering of food on the table. I mean it's. It, you were seemingly expected. Uh, it's It doesn't look anywhere near as good as the food did at the Bulging Cauldron. Uh, but uh, they have laid out some, you know, some bread and, and, oh. and some things like that for you all. I'll eat some. 
I am going to uh, step into the room. Or at, not yet step into the room. I'm going to stick my head in because I will fill the room a little bit too much. And But I'm going to cast uh, um, Find Traps. Okay. Uh, this is instantaneous, a range of 120 feet. And I sense the presence of any trap within range that is within the line of sight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, a trap for the purpose of this spell indicates that anything that could inflict a sudden or unexpected effect you consider harmful or undesirable, which was specifically intended as such by its creator. Thus, the spell would sense an area affected by the alarm spell, a glyph of warding, or a mechanical pit trap. But it could, but it would not reveal a natural weakness in the floor, an unstable ceiling, or a hidden sinkhole. Okay. Uh, it just it just reveals that the spell is present, not what it is. Yeah. The um, or the location. You you reach out with your senses, and nothing nothing on your senses pings on that. Speaking of senses, I'll go ahead and give a a design divine sense. I'll uh, okay. Give a sniff. Are you, if you guys are moving into the room, please reposition oh, yeah, your tokens sorry. into the room. Um, and Keed, if you're just going to be in the doorway, you're going to block Alexander and Cesar from coming in. I'm guessing. Well, I already made the comment. I'm not coming in if Carlos is talking like that to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, he's we just sat like through your though. whole dumb seance thing. Get your butt in here. I'm counting this as the favor. That, that's fair. We'll, we'll be I've been muted. Then. I've been muted. Uh, like I said, I'm just sticking my head in briefly. Mm -hmm. uh, I will let them go through ahead of me if that's needed. Uh, I'm going there. Okay. I, don't, I don't sense a trap. I'm eating some food. Cesar? I'll go inside. I want to go to the other house. But <laughs> this is just proving my point. <laughs> and he, he, he looks around. I didn't want to come to this dumb house anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Masters, there there are more of you than I had anticipated. Uh, please allow me to to get some more bread. Nope. And oh, we've just had breakfast. And and he's and he's and he stops when you say nope. Ah. Uh, As he said, we've already we've already eaten. We yeah. appreciate the hospitality, but it won't be necessary. Let's see, more uh, more nope. drinks. Nope. Mm -hmm. We're good. Yep. I'll try the drinks as well. <laughs> uh yeah it's just it's just tap water it's not, um it's, tap water. it's not poisoned so could you could you tell us where our our friend Farrell is like you said he he's gotta give him his hat back uh as i said he is uh has been called away for other business the master does not make it a habit of telling us Go get him. We know he's upstairs. Ah, uh, there's no upstairs. Uh, he's kind of Knew looking it. around. <laughs> Is there a downstairs? I I am going to just roll my eyes very blatantly when he says that. We do. Yes. Anyway. Carolus. Keed, when you roll your eyes, tell me which way. You are looking outside. You're muted. Every time you hit that I, button, it makes every the very talky. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Um, I look from the left. I roll my eyes up, around, and to the right. Uh, all right. So when you finish uh, with your eye roll... <laughs> Let me get my polygon reveal <laughs> tool here. Buddy, I've never had a DM ask me which directions I roll my eyes in. <laughs> you uh, you see someone stepping around the corner. Where's big guy? Which uh, corner? Well, there's there uh, to your right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, 
uh, are there are many big guys here, such with like lifting things. Uh, can you be more specific as to which big guy the big you are guy. looking? Well, his name was Big Guy. I don't know. I sent him an apology letter. <laughs> but he, he, wouldn't have, I, he wouldn't have got here already, so... I, I, I am I am terribly sorry. I do not know what you mean. That's fine. What do you want, anyway? Is well, it not you who came here? Yes. And I'm still hoping... You've, you've mentioned... Feral has been called away, but you you keep kind of glancing around where where exactly he is, and that's kind of where the real the real nugget that we're looking for right there. I uh, I do not know, as I have told you, for the second time now. Yeah, the can I insight? Can I can I insight? The master's not disposed to tell me where he has been called to. You absolutely no, may. I feel like he's full of junk. We only just see him an hour ago. Son of a gun! Nine. Yeah, I mean that that actually sounds pretty on the up and up. If this guy works for him, there's no Farrell's not gonna have doesn't have to tell him, you know, what the hell he's doing. Tell me, or I'll ask your corpse. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, normally um, I would say he's bluffing, but I mean, shoot, I, I've seen him do weirder stuff. So, te- technically, I would ask the corpse. Right. What have you uh, done with our friend Farrell? He keeps telling he's told us already, hasn't he? Uh, Keed, you, uh, as you maybe look back to the left with another. I keep rolling my roll, eyes. Um, you see two more. Th- these seem to be the farm hands that you saw earlier. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, but, but, but two have come around the corner of the house. They're the farm w- hands we saw earlier in the tavern? No, when you first entered the town and Farrell said, oh, that's my house and those are my guys. Mm-hmm. He went over oh. and spoke to them. Oh. The, the, the hands, you know, the workers, the farm hands. Okay. Yeah, I'll still wait right where I'm at. Uh, okay. I'll maybe move just slightly to the other side of the door. Okay. I'm What's going Alexander to activate doing all this? Uh, my medallion because this guy's seeing a little tricksy. Uh, now, is this is this your 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 ambulance? Yes, my ambulance. Your... My okay. m- ambulance of thoughts. I got to figure out what's going on over here because I'm about to dial uh, 999. <laughs> <laughs> this is hella sketchy in my mind. So uh, okay, remind me again text. what the the ambulance of thoughts does. It is I I cast detect, detect, detect thoughts. thoughts. Yeah, and it lasts for um crap. There we go. One minute, and I basically get surface thoughts of people unless I want to like really dig into them. So you get surface thoughts no matter what. Uh. You initially learn the surface thoughts of a creature. What is most on its mind in the moment as an action, I can either shift my attention or attempt to probe deeper into its head. That you can see within 30 feet of you. Yeah, the the surface thought you're getting off of this guy is... Oops, get that finger. Um, The surface thought you're getting off of this guy is... Oh, shit. There's five of them. I'm going to ask him. So uh, if, if he's not here, can, can, we'll just go ahead and leave then. Let's, let's go find him. Is that cool? I'm as, just going to wave as, and try to you walk out. As, as you wish. Yeah, is that, you can stay. That changes thoughts at all. Um... It does a little bit, yeah. He uh, his surface thought goes to, oh, maybe maybe this won't be so bad. Um, so yes, you step out and you as well see, um, a couple of the, the hands, the the farm hands who um, you had seen earlier. They're kind of milling about, coming from around the side of the house. 
and when I get the the time to in between mm -hmm. other people, I will shift my focus on each of the other three that are out here and try and see what their um, surface thoughts are for each of them. Okay. Carolus, what are you into? Uh, is there any other doors here? Uh, there's a door just behind him that I mean, presumably that's he was going to go into uh, the kitchen to get more drinks before you guys are more bread before you said, no, we're not hungry. And there's a door uh, behind you. Oh, I'll open the door behind me. Okay. Reveal. Presto Chinjo. Revelioso. Um, it's just kind of like a living room. He's not in there. Uh, yes, he was not called away to the living room. He was called away out of town. Back to Waterdeep, I, I believe. I don't know. Some Something had happened there. So he received a message when he came back? Uh, yes, magically, I believe, sir. Magically. Sending magically. of some sorts. Is that usual for your, for your master to get? magical messages like that um does that happen it's, often it's usual that anyone can receive them he is quite confused at your line of questioning i mean like, it's, I, it's, it's as though you have my, never been around life. anyone who has had magic i mean you know that cesar has a sending stone in his pocket that can talk to tomris so yeah but that's not exactly super common sending is like, a third level spell yeah but most commoners and things don't have third level spells. True. That is true. But I mean, most uh, people Feral... minding their own business don't have third level spells. Right. But I mean, Feral is a, is a, a minor noble and someone of some importance. And you know that he works for someone who is a noble. So yeah. certainly not out of the question. You guys also shit on and slept and made crazy like 10 people in Waterdeep that were part of his guard. So maybe um, not the craziest thing that he would get a message about it. I may turn the door open behind him. Okay. Uh, Polygon. It, uh, it appears to be a kitchen behind him. Do I see someone shift to his left? Uh, you don't see anyone shift. You you do see the side of a token that I yes. had in a little too close. So let's say when the door opens, you don't see anyone shift, but you do hear like a step. Oh, like someone see. steps. Can I see anything from more from my angle? Oh, yeah. You don't well, have to reveal yeah. anything more. I just want to know it. Like, hey. Sure. Well, is it a cook we, or is it a guy in like heavy armor? That's all I'm really trying to look for. Uh, you can see a little more, but you don't end up seeing the person. He he has okay. like step stepped away. Okay. It was an ambush. And I was going to ask Cesar what he was getting into, but he is no longer with us. Um, by that I mean he's dead. No. Um, that's, that's well, funny. I said that. I said that in his chair disappeared. That was really unfortunate. There he is, Cesar. What are you into? Um, a pizza. We've opened. <laughs> we've we've opened up a couple doors here, and there's someone else in the kitchen, but we didn't get a good look at him. Hmm. Okay. Do I know that there's someone else in the kitchen? Did y'all make that? Known. Yeah, when uh, Carolus Mage handed the door open, and you all heard someone step, step kind of out of the way in the kitchen. Mm hmm. Um. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna barge into the kitchen. Yeah, I'm gonna barge into the kitchen. It was an ambush. Okay. I love it. Get my reveal tool. Like eight of them All right, you just move yourself in if you'd like. 
I'm gonna like I'm gonna I wanna I wanna punch this guy in the like in the head to move past him like I don't hear he's right there. It's like mm. Are you punching him or just shoving him to the just, side? Just shoving, just shoving his face. Okay. Like I, a nerd I, I, on the playground where you just exactly. your face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there for sure is a guy in there who has another tray of the kind of really dry, crusty-looking bread that he's trying to make look nice. Uh, oh, oh, uh, yes, more, more bread, sir. I don't want. Are you? Are you here to fight? I mean, the bread's a little tough, but uh... you would. You look. You look like the saddest thing in here. I mean, if you're not gonna cause any trouble, I'm gonna leave you I mean, alone. I mean, <laughs> I mean, give me a perception check with advantage. <laughs> <laughs> While he does that, what am I picking up from the three guys I, I, I'm, outside? I'm getting, I'm getting right to that. Okay, okay. Uh, 26. So, so on a 26, Holy moly. not a whole lot of guys prepare trays of bread for guests while wearing their armor. Um, Alexander, <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the three outside, it's basically different variations on wait 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 and come on you motherfuckers come on you motherfuckers and then as you're kind of looking through this another a a fourth comes around the corner and all you get from him is yeah yeah um i would like to make myself invisible and activate my winged boots. <laughs> Gotta go, y'all. <laughs> I was gonna say, pull the trigger, yeah. But then he just left and I'm like, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna stop yeah, blasting. Man. <laughs> um, let's see, so winged boots and uh, we'll say that that's invisible for now. Okay, so you're now invisible, and how far up do you want to fly? I'm gonna go thirty feet. Thirty feet, or at least up. The, to the top of that, to the top of the house, to like the roof of the house. But yeah, I'll go like fifteen feet. Okay. Uh, yeah, and so careless, are you gonna are you gonna eldritch blast this mofo right in the face? He's looking bored, and his sister's he's saying you look really sad, and <laughs> I look behind. Do I see uh, Alexander just suddenly disappear? It, it, not if you weren't looking that way. If you were looking at, at Cesar, like, push that dude out of the way, then uh, so Keed probably would have picked up on it, but but not anyone in the house. Oh, I'm going to stop blasting. That's what I like. Do you want initiatives on everybody? On not me. just yet. I want to see what happens here with Carolus. Okay. Maybe he'll blow this guy's head apart, and they'll all surrender. Sounds good. Sounds sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 23, 26, 22. Yeah, those all hit. I was really expecting you to say none of them uh, hit. 11, 26, uh, 26, 41 damage. With 41 damage. You just basically cave that dude's fucking head in, and he is instantly killed. The bread was dry. <laughs> now <laughs> with everyone, please. Hold on. Still still set up from the last fight. I, I wish that it would clear itself, but, you know, roll 20, everyone. Uh, all right. So make sure you have your character selected when you roll your initiative. And let's roll. Oh, come on, really? Some initiative. Look at all of us. Yep. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Going first again, most likely out of our group. It's not looking good. It's only one person I could do who's got over 10. Oh, my God, really? Oh, here we go. Uh, okay, there's one, two people over ten. Wow. 
sort descending. All of a sudden, my initiative is not that bad. Alexander. All right, so I'm I'm on top of the roof right now, correct? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, if that's what you want to be. Yeah, you're at the roof level. If you want to have stepped back and, and to be on top of it, then yeah, that's fine. Yes, that is what I would like to do. And I will, with my action, mm-hmm. um, well, no, I don't want to do that yet. I was mentally prepared for a fight, but I wasn't ready for me being first in the fight. I'll say, I'll say that much at least. Okay. I'm going to just cast vicious mockery on the one off to the far right here. Um, to this, this guy. Yeah. Is it going to break my invisibility? Um, yeah. I don't, and I'll just yell, this is what happens when you wait too long, motherfucker. And 17, nice. uh, 17 wisdom. All right. So check it out. That was a one. And he has a nice. plus a zero. Uh, yeah. So hit me with some damage. For a total Since of like 15. 15. Um, are there any other effects on that, or is that just a straight damage? Uh, it has disadvantage on the next attack roll it makes before the end of its next turn. Copy. And then All right, anything else for you? Uh, I will inspire Keed since she is the only one I can see right now with some bardic inspiration and yell at her and say, don't get surrounded. I think they might fuck us up. <laughs> and that's a D8? D10. 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 Yep. You have D10 Bardic Inspiration Keyed. Yeah. Uh, all right. Is that the end of your turn, sir? Yes. All right. And so the one that you just uh, attacked uh, <laughs> mightily, I uh, can't really reach you. And so he's going to He's going to rush up and take a swing at disadvantage at Keed with his long sword. All right. So, he uh he swings mightily at you, Keed just giving it all he's got and just where it would would normally impact you he's he's after it so hard and he's so mad at at alexander the blade just comes out of his hand and sticks in the wall behind you on his massive roll of one natural um and so a little bit of flavor can i look at that and look at him you're an idiot. Shit on him. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then he is. He looks at you and kind of realizes what he's into, and he's gonna try to make a uh, sort of start backing away towards his friends. You have an attack of opportunity if you would like to take it. Uh, yes, yes, I would. Since I'm still outside, um, I want to. Um, do a uh, hoof. Okay. Like, kind of rear up a little bit and knock him with uh, my hooves. Okay. That's a 13. That is a hit. miss. That is uh, a miss. Darn. He moved too fast. Um, That for sure is going to be his turn. Cesar. Right, so um, I'm just gonna look at the guy with the bread and be like, "You want to do this? You can leave." It's the one thing I cannot do. You're in the way of the door. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna toll the dead on him. Okay, 
That's a uh, wisdom save for me. Yeah. Mm, he's plus zero. Uh, that's a seven. Okay. Let's so see. You're doing one d eight damage. Is that right? On toll now. Three d eight. Three d eight. Three d eight. Yeah. Three d eight. Mm-hmm. I tried. <laughs> Oh, and his blessed strike as well. Forgot about that. What is blessed strike? Um, it adds uh, lightning damage to my uh, attacks. Pretty sure it does. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Twenty-three damage. Uh, on a cantrip. On a cantrip. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Sure. He uh, he drops. The, I know it doesn't have a force component, but he drops the tray of bread and kind of stumbles backwards a little bit. Uh, you have seriously put a put a crimp in his day. What else would you like to do, sir? Um, I'm going to like kiss it up to God for uh, for a shield of faith and just put the fist up and get ready to to rumble. I'm like, you you wanted this. You want you wanted this. <laughs> All right, uh, Carolus. I walk outside, not knowing that Alexander is above me. And I say, "Yeah, you heard you heard the big thunk of the sword. Uh, you heard Alexander yelling. You heard the big thunk of the sword hit the uh, hit the wall behind Keed, and you heard her kind of rear up and and make a hoof stomp towards someone." Say, so they're all really easy, and I fire the first bolt at the uh, this. I'll, I'll, I'll okay, fire all three. Until I know All that they go down. If the, well, if it goes down after two, then obviously I'll just roll all three first. Wow. Uh, well, that first one is a miss on a 13. The 21 and the 20 both hit, though. Okay. About 24 damage. 24 damage. Uh, yeah, he's for sure looking, looking pretty beat down. Um... And, uh, and 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 definitely bloodied. And then I float thirty foot up. Oh, here you are, Alexander. Yeah, he's about fifteen feet up. Do you go above him? Yeah, I go thirty feet up. Yeah, you do. Of course, you do. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're moving we're on. having this kind of contest today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. So this guy is going to use Toll the Dead. Uh, and it's actually going to be because of a feature he has against... Uh, wait, did you fly above him, Careless? Or are you yes. two still... I'm 15 foot above. Uh, I'm 15, right, he's 30. Okay, then he will not do that. What are you doing? He will not use that feature. Um... He's going to cast a spell. Um, I got to see what it's, what it's size is. Uh, okay. He is uh, going to cast a spell toward all of you. And he finishes casting and Keed and Alexander and Bertram and Carolus, all of you, everything goes silent. Because he oh. has cast silence. Oh, no saving for him, isn't it? Uh, correct. Okay. And let me... I don't know that you would know, but... Yeah, you don't actually know where the bounds of it are. I know where the bounds of it are, but you do not. Uh, and then he is going to... Move himself back a little bit. Um, so Cesar, bread man, reaches down and he pulls his sword and he says, we don't have to do this. You can go. No, I told you we don't have to do this. You can go. <laughs> <laughs> and he will advance and he will make uh, his two attacks on you. All right, dumbass, let's do this. Does an eight hit? Nope. 
does a 14 hit. Nope. <laughs> so he has his, his mace and he just mightily whoo, whoo, just just two big heaping bread swings at you and uh, just both completely clear of you. And then he's just kind of standing there looking at you and you can see the regret in his face, <laughs> but um, but he's he's going to stay. He's going to stay. If you leave, I'll tell everyone that you you, you got knocked out honorably. Maybe, maybe you'll just knock me out honorably and, and then leave me here. If you're lucky, I'm just going to knock you out. Caesar said, knock you out. Uh, <laughs> Bertram. I One, am two. also going to run outside. Uh, this big dude in front of me here. Mm-hmm. Is he Does like not, actively? Did, well, he's kind of actively moving away, but he for sure did not hear you approach. Because he is inside the sphere of silence. Is he not looking at me? No, he's trying to get the fuck away. He was moving oh, away he's from running. Keed. He was moving away from Keed. And so she's had an AO and he took two Elder's Blasts in the back. And so okay. he's moving in a vector away. So you were well, technically just... unseen and behind him. So at least this first attack, I would give you advantage on. I'd let you talk me into cool. that. I'm going to just plant a... If he's on his way out, I'm just going to plant my foot on his back and just help him on his way and just do an unarmed strike. Okay. Advantage. Uh, it's a 18 plus 7, 25. 25 hits. Roll that damage. Uh, 8 bludgeoning non-lethal damage. Yeah, I mean, Ufta, he, uh, he shunts forward. You normally you would hear him cry out, but you, uh, you don't, you don't hear anything. Yeah, it's weird. I don't like it. It's flashbacks to last night. Normally this would not bother me, but I'm not liking it. Um, and you, you may attack again. You will not have advantage because now he knows that you're beating his ass right there. Yeah. Um... Not he was running away, so I'm gonna keep moving. Uh, these guys over to my left over here. Mm -hmm. What are they looking like? Are they looking like they're still uh, in this thing? Well, so the red guy, yeah, it looks like he's backing up into a tactical position, and the other two yeah. simply have not had their turn yet. One of cool. them goes on number one. <laughs> um. Whatever, I'm going to finish off my attacks against this other guy then. Why not? Uh, okay. So I plan to foot in his back and then try to just clock him in the side of the head with my sword. Okay. Uh, 22. That hits. That is another hit. Nah, that's bad. That's five more points of damage. Um, He is like dumbstruck staggering it's kind of amazing that he is still on his feet i'll finish it off with an unarmed with a bonus action unarmed strike natural 19. that hits for another six points of damage and this is non-lethal yeah so I'm, i was trying to sweep his feet with that last one but just take his feet out from under him put him on his ass uh, you do? Uh, I got a... I don't really have one for... Dead but not dead. Um, do you got Z's? You got sleepy Z's? sleeping. Do you got sleepy yeah. Z's? Yeah, so he, he's he got the sleep mask on. He's protecting his eyes. So he is... It, 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 unconscious. Ooh. He's got the big Z's on his hit points. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, that's all. I'll just sit and chill. Uh, I'll turn to the other and say, uh... You mean... Just, just tell him to leave. Silent spell. You're, you're, in, you're still in the... Ah, son of a silence. gun. 
So he turns around and he says something, but it's just like when one of you are on mute talking. Yep. No one hears it. Try, trying to be cool and just looks like a goofball. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I said something really intimidating and clever and just no one heard it. Um, Around the corner. To about here. You see a strange feral kind of creature. He's got a kind of leathery gray brown spiky skin and one gigantic eye in the front. Um, probably no one here has ever seen anything like it. Uh, I'd be willing to make an exception if maybe you had. Uh, but he's going to come around and we can see his hit points. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but uh, it is not intentional. Um, check the player permission. Let's see, turn that off. Turn that off. There we go. Yeah, I had uh, I had I, just, I have it standard set to on. I just didn't turn his off. Yeah. Um, and Bertram, he is going to use a uh, one of his special abilities on you. I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. I am okay at those. Um, can I roll before I decide to use inspiration or not? Nope. I'm going to use it. Uh, 25 total. Uh, 25 makes the save. Uh, just seeing if there was a, uh, that's a, that's a save or suck. So you don't even take half damage on it. Um, cool. do I see this thing? Did it look at me weird? Can I tell he tried to do something? Oh, absolutely. He, he looked at you and there's his eye kind of got intense for a moment and, and you felt the, the eye kind of look at you like like you felt it look at you but you managed to shake off whatever effects um okay and I then didn't like he, that. yeah you you sure didn't uh, mm -hmm. he is also going to I need you to make and this is weird but it's the way it is written um I need you to make a deception check for me. Okay. Hey, 17. Okay, so I have beat you. Um, okay. I magically learn one fact or secret about you. Uh, uh, wait, uh, clarify. Are you immune to being charmed? I Are you don't immune to charm? think so. Nope. Okay. Then I magically learn one fact or secret about you. You could just put it uh, direct to me in the Zoom chat. Okay. Um, oh, I mean, I think he immediately learns that I have a vow of, is that a secret? A vow of non-lethality? I don't know that it's a secret. At least all uh, of your pre previous Canada Keep players knew. I mean, may maybe as an, uh, an enemy, he wouldn't know yeah. that. So we'll, as an right, enemy, we'll he that. wouldn't under, yeah. Okay, so that's the secret he learns from you. Is that um, I won't kill him. But I will. Good to know. Keed. I um, I noticed the new guy coming up, right? Mm hmm Yeah, you're still in the, in the to... sphere of silence, but you notice him. Okay, so I am going to, and as far as I know, I don't need anything uh, verbal for this, but I'm going to take um, a starry form archer. Let me put that there. Um, I'm going to use my wild form to cast mm -hmm. my starry form archer. I meant to um, post what that is in the chat. Hold on. 
Um, Are you making an attack though? Because that's a damn good one. Uh, yes, I am. I was planning on aiming it at the new person that arrived because one eyeball okay. is really strange. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's also radiant damage um, in case that matters. But basically, um, the starry form as a bonus action, you can expand the use of your wild shape feature to take on starry form. The archer on activation and as a bonus action, you can make a ranged spell attack, mm -hmm. 60 feet dealing 2d8 plus 4 radiant damage. So I just activate it as an action and I guess I get a bonus action to fire again. When you activated, you used your wild shape as a bonus, your bonus action. Uh, right. No, I was I was just doing the the activation. That was my action was to do the activation. Yeah, and the bonus action is to shoot, which you've done. And oh, hit, oh, oh, oh! Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so you've hit. Okay. Yep. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he he doesn't like that at all, and um, he kind of like shakes his his eye away from Bertram and turns it to you. And he sees I am glowing. Uh, the um, the star clippings that were in my um, fur mm -hmm. um, are glowing. And on my belly that can be seen is a, a, a constellation of the archer. And um, so that's that's what he sees. Nice. I, I love I'm all it. I glowing. That's amazing. That's amazing. I wish I could make your token glow. All right. I think that's it. All righty. Um, all right. So seeing you just put his friend down for nappy naps, this guy is going to run in on you, Bertrand. Bring it on. And he's going to make his two long sword attacks. That will be good. It is not good. Uh, those are both big whiffs. Uh, but now he is <laughs> he is just right up, right up in your grill, having super whiffed twice. That's nice. I like that. Um, this guy is going to actually move back just a little bit to try to get some perspective on the situation. <laughs> Alexander. I shall, I guess because we're doing this, fly, well, nope, beforehand, I'm gonna use my tail from beyond to bestow it onto um, Bertram. Is so that for verbal? one, no, it's just a, uh, you can use an action to target one creature you can see. And once you do so, you can't bestow another effect again until you use the, uh, feature. So okay. for one minute, any creature that attacks the target with a melee attack takes force damage equal to a roll of my inspiration die. So one D 10. And then I will proceed to float up another 30 feet since we're playing this game and snap my fingers and see if I can make a noise since I can clearly see that so we're now you're, 40, guy... you're, you're 45 feet up now yep yep yeah we're playing you, this you, game now you can you can for sure hear it okay I mean, point of order, you can also move laterally, but you don't have to play the game that Carolus is playing, but oh no, you we're... choose to play that game. <laughs> uh, yep, this is what we're doing today. So we go up 45, I snap my fingers. Hey guys, come on up. <laughs> and then that'll be my turn. When you say that, the other folks on the ground that aren't in the, the sphere look up at you. Um, he is, I guess if you non-lethal him, I don't have to make death saves. Cesar. Correct. You'll be Oops. it. You're not even in the sphere of silence. Oh. 
All right. One last chance. You want to leave? Want to go? I shouldn't. I, I don't get paid to run away. You can tell, though, that his, he is, his mace is trembling in his hand a little bit. Son, I pay you to run away. If, oh, if I gave you 10 gold now, you run, you, you, if I, if I give you 10 gold now, you run to Waterdeep, you get on the first boat you can find and you get the hell out of here. He drops his fucking mace on the ground. <laughs> um, 15 gold. I give him 15 gold and tell him to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he, he, he takes it and he says, go out a back window or something and get, <laughs> there, there's a back door. Okay. You'll never, you'll never see me again. That's and fine. He, he can't move yet. Cause it's not his turn, but he, he turns away The you can see that this is a door back here. Okay. And so, and so he turns away from you, showing you his, showing you his back and, uh, doesn't give the mace a second thought. Um, Cool. <laughs> um, then I immediately turn and I kick in the door to the uh, to the dining room. To, but into this room. Yeah, yeah. If that's not if it's not already open, I'm gonna. It, it's already it's already open. You okay? You see the remains of the poor bastard that took three eldritch blasts to the head. <sighs> Careless. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then are um, you going to move out or are you going to stay there? Uh, yeah, who's in the doorway on, on the other side? Uh, well, uh, Alexander and Carolus are both above. So the door is clear. Okay. That's Alexander. Um, he's he's floating oh, above. Oh, okay. So let's see how far that is. And I've got... 30, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go right out to the other other side basically right under Alexander. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you step outside expecting to hear commotion and it is just instantly deathly quiet. You you can't you can't even hear the sound of your own heart beating in your ears. Uh, anything else? I uh, pull up my trident. <laughs> Yeah, gonna command some fish. <laughs> Perilous. I fly 30 are... feet up. <laughs> okay, you are now out of... So now you're 60 feet high. 60 feet high. I look at the weird uh, creature. And yeah? I start to draw a weird circle and then fill in all the lines. Um, like a, it's, it's, It glows red. And mm -hmm. I hex the creature... What's mouse. the range on that? I don't know why, but my mouse has stopped working. Hang on. Let me just plug it in. Hex is 90 feet. <clears throat> okay, you are within range. He is now hexed, which is why he has the spanner. Because it's like a hex. No, uh, no. Hex. Uh, oh. It's clever and I like it. No, I cast hex. And then I... Proceed to blast it three times. Not once, not twice, but through. Oh, that Ooh. One missed. Yep, that's not great. Oh, that one probably missed as well. 22 to hit. Uh, Only one of those hits. Yeah, the 22 does hit. Okay. For 19 points. Uh, 19, um, 23 points. Okay. Is the, the hex is always four? Uh, no, but it rolled it already, so. It rolls, time, okay. Next time I'll roll it. It rolled it. For gotcha. Me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it now turns its, its kind of giant eye. And it's weakness. Way up into the sky at you. Is charisma. I'm sorry? I hex it for charisma. So any charisma ah. saves it has to make. Look, my camera's gone gotcha. funny again. Um, all right, anything else for your turn? No, nope, that's me done. 
Alrighty then. Now, my dude over here is going to use his special feature because Keed and Cesar are next to each other. Uh, I need both of you to make uh, wisdom saves, please. Is it a spell? It is. Oh, okay. Well, I can't That's count a, a 19? Spell. I can't spell it. Because I can. Oh, no, I can't. Uh, 60 foot up. Who's doing it? Am I 60 feet away from them? Oh, yeah. Do... Yeah. He's he's over here. Oh, Does yeah, I'm too far away his here. spell or counter spell require verbal components? Counter spell he doesn't. Is... He okay. is not in the sphere of silence. Okay. And or am I? Uh, okay, so what were my saves? A 19 from Keed and Cesar, what was your save? Are you muted again? Yes, I was, yeah, again. yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, one more time. I was being talked to. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your, what's your save? Um, hopefully better than uh, 25. Okay. Were you going to say hopefully better than Keith's? No, no, no. You no. know it was. You know no, it was. No, no. I have a plus nine to so wisdom. It's each, of you take, <laughs> each of you take seven points of necrotic damage. I don't like that. As uh, Toll the Dead goes off at both of you. That's Ooh. my move. Now it's his. Okay, um, I'm gonna take it back. And uh, and he is going to continue out of the sight lines. Uh, this guy, true to his word, goes out the back door and then is no longer, so far as you know, in this battle. Bertram. Yeah. So this guy just ran up on you and double whiffed and looked yeah, at you. Yeah, I just feel very... bad for him. This big eyed little weirdo still makes me nervous. Well, and he knows you as well. I know. I don't like that. Yeah, I'm going to run over there. Okay. So uh, the guy next to you will take his AO. Yeah, he can take a swing if he needs to. Uh, that is a 16. 16 does hit. Oh, wait, no, oh. it does not. God damn it. Uh, my armor class is up to 17 because of my Kensei feature. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, so you you feel just the, the, the tip of his blade scratch across the back of your armor, but it does not uh, find any purchase. And you know, you just... I'm not wearing just armor. One. You feel it scratch right across your shirt, <laughs> the back of your tunic, and uh, probably he pulled a thread on it. I'm going to hit you this little thing. The tip. You feel just the tip. No, I don't. I... <laughs> Flip it. <laughs> Please and thank you. Uh, all right, I am going to uh, hit this thing with a stick. Yeah, man. Uh, attack number one. Uh, it's a four. That's gonna miss. Yeah, that's that's uh, four total. Mm, uh, Eleven total. <laughs> Eleven total does not hit. Yeah. All right. Second you, attack. You you swing and he scoots to the ah. side. Natural one on the second attack. Mm-hmm. And bonus action, unarmed strike. Hey, dirty 20. There we go. The dirty 20 hits. So you swing once with your wooden sword and he ducks it and you swing twice. And he he gets a little kind of overzealous on your one and looks at you. And then I'm just going to punt him in the face with it. Yeah, he <laughs> looks at you and the he's first two. <laughs> slobbering just a little bit. And he is, his eye is just right up on you and you punch him right in the right in his eye. Cool. What's the damage? Uh, I am going to dump a key point to add a D6, and then I'm going to dump a smite to add a D8. Oh. Okay. 
Ah, still sucks. Um, eight plus what? Three? Eleven total. Non-lethal. <laughs> I mean, you. His, for sure, his eye smarts. I mean, he's blinking like somebody that's got sand in their contacts. Like black eye. Yeah. Uh, what else, sir, for your turn? I believe that is it. Because that was attack and bonus action. So I'm good. Uh, all right. He is going to, uh, again, just open his eye really wide that's now throbbing and a little bit bloodshot. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Again? Yes. This isn't a spell, is it? It's just a, a feature? It's an, it's an action ability of his. Okay. Hey, that's good. Uh, 25. Okay, that makes... Uh, make a deception check, please. Another deception check. This thing's weird. I don't like it. Hey, it that's a... Any of his scores? Is he rolling, is he rolling charisma saves because it gets disadvantage? Uh, it's not a charisma that he's rolling now. Uh, okay. I rolled a Kraken, uh, though, so that is a deception of 22. Um, Mine is... Where's my, where's my plus? Mine is also a 22. I think that means um, I win. I, it, well, so nothing nothing happens. And, okay, good. I was making that see, up. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing, <laughs> nothing happens on that. And you can see he kind of narrows his eye a little and just... And then takes... One, two, three. Um, Am I still in the silence? Uh... You are no. You are just outside the edge of it. All right, I'll say. Well, um, shut up before gonna, I put your he's eye. Gonna make, he's gonna make. He's gonna make. He's gonna make. He didn't understand you. That's uh, fine. He's gonna make a run to there. So uh, you have an AO. Yep, you have an AO if you'd like it. Let's take it. Stun him. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. That's a fourteen. Oof, if 14 is not enough. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, it, uh, it it just it just just scrapes off of the the kind of spi the spiny no as he's moving away, <laughs> the kind of the spiny leathery hide. Uh it just just grazes off of it. I can catch you. I'll yell at him. <laughs> Keyed. I am going to pull my short bow out and knock an arrow, um, aiming at the one-eyed person. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use my bardic inspiration that I received uh, and shoot the short bow at him. Let's so, see it. Let's do the d10 first. You, you, only need to use, you only need to use the inspiration if you need it. Oh. So you wouldn't have needed it. Oh, we damn, 20. that is but, a crit. But use the Bardic Inspiration to add the damage because that will crit. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. For sure. Then I will. Um, nice. So that's going to be... Uh, nine plus four plus three. Uh, sorry, nine plus three. So 12 damage. So, well, that only you, the, you're, once. You're, you're, did, did you click yeah, on yeah, the so, little pink thing? Well, you know, it says short bow. Did you click no, on that? No, I didn't. Yeah, click no, on I the didn't. short yeah, bow. Click, yeah, click on that one. Oh. There you go. That's critical. Now roll 2d10. 2d10. Uh, What's the 2d10 for? Bardic Inspiration for damage. But she already rolled that with the 3. Yeah, but she didn't, she didn't need to roll that to hit. Right, uh, but I was going to just move that roll oh, forward. Okay. That's fine, yeah. though. Uh, so that's fine. So I'm, I'm okay with adding the three to, what was that, ten? No, 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 it's no, it's fine. Uh, with the 26, even even if it was just the 13, that'd be 23. Um, 
it finds its way home. He he looked back to kind of taunt at Bertram, who just missed on his AO, and that he never even saw it coming with his giant eye that you put it just right through the the gooey part of his eye. And he is dead and and just pinned to the ground right there. Dead. Nice. Nice. Uh, any, anything else for you? Uh, can I use my bonus action? Sure. For for my uh, my starry form, I want to swing back around. And is he still just on the edge of visibility? Who is that? This one right here. I'm pinging. Yeah. Oh yeah. I want to uh, hit him with my um, archer. All right. Let's do it. Starry form. Here we go. That is a nine. That's a nine damage. does not. Hit. That's damage. I, I use the damage. Hold on. Yeah. I was meant to do this earlier. Oh, wait. Uh, rather than trying to. Forming into the piece. When. Oh, I hit the wrong one, but hold on. That's all right. So make make your make your attack your your proper attack. Oh, where's the proper attack button? Just D twenty, I guess. Right. D twenty plus. Well, plus what? Yeah. What did you roll earlier when you shot with it? Store farm archer. Yeah. D twenty plus mm-hmm. eight. Okay, I can just do this then. 20. So that's 14 plus 8. Is it 22? Yeah, that hits for Does sure. Does that hit? Yeah. All right. And then I guess the 9 that the I The 9 rolled. damage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he... Ah! Because he was not expecting, thinking that he was uh, kind of not in the, the fray, not expecting to take an arrow. Uh, and you can move as well. You still have all your movement. You'll you have all your mutement as well. Damn it. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so I moved from next to the building to over here. Okay. Um, I don't know if that opens up my visibility at all, but I'm definitely going to try to get this guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it will. I'm adding you some more. Yeah, so you can for sure see both of those guys. Uh, and I think that's all that you have. Yes, so it now is. There's this guy who I think he's done trying to tangle with Bertram. And he sees Cesar standing there on the porch and is not going to have any of that. And thinks that he's going to come up here and have an easy time of it with Keed. I know that he's not, but he is not as smart as I am. So he is going to make his long sword attacks at you. Jesus Christ. Wait, does he still have his long sword? Or no, does, that's yeah. a different guy that lost. Okay, never yeah. mind. The, sleep, the sleeping guy does not have his long sword. Um, these are always great before the stream when I'm rolling them, but um, <laughs> but man, they're just not good now. So that's a, a 13 and a 15. They got performance anxiety. I guess so. All right. So my armor, my AC is 13. Oh, okay. So the 15 for sure hits. So on the 13, we're going to do what's called a contest. A so you and I are just both going to roll a 1d20. And whoever gets the highest is going to win that contest. So I've hit once. 16. Uh, you beat me. I rolled an 11. So I get one... D8 plus four. That one's got that thing on that Alexander done as well. 
Uh, that one already attacked and used its disadvantage. Oh. I thought you cast something else on someone. So that's 12 uh, points of slashing damage. I thought you did that thing like it reduces it by 1d10. No, that is Tale of the Avenger, which is on Bert. And oh, if okay. he, someone hits him with a melee attack, which oh, no one's done Bert. so far, <laughs> oh, yeah. he goes 1d10. <laughs> hey, you know what? I tried to do it, and he's just so damn fast. Uh, My armor class is gonna... actually, like, sad low. All, I think all of ours is apart from uh, Caesar. So well, this guy... Boy. This guy, after being being shot and uh, now seeing Keed charge kind of towards him, is going to throw his mace out on the ground in front of him and uh, again take a, take a take a pullback. Uh, he, you can say still... yes, yes, come on. That was him, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, you can actually still see him keyed. I'm opening that that up for you. Um but he's uh he is now unarmed and is moving away. And Alexander. All right. Uh 45, so 45 feet in the air currently. Yes. Being 45 feet in the air, do I see a little bit more around us? Just because we have the height advantage going on here. Uh, sure. Yeah, you do. You can see kind of all around the house. There, there are not any other combatants that you can see. If they are there, they are well hidden. But I would say that you don't see any other combatants. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and fly horizontally at this point. 30 feet. So... Do, do, do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I see this guy right here? Oh yeah. I'm at? Being forty-five feet up, yeah, you you for sure. And you're out of the silence. Uh, you can you can take a shot on him if you have a ranged attack. I guess you could just turn yeah. the boots off and try to like death from above on him. No, I'm, I'm, you could no? impale him with your own shin bone. Oh yes. No, I'm good. Um, but just pull I your will... loot out and just, just loot him right in the throat. I will cast uh, Phantasmal Killer on him. Ooh. That's Ooh. not great. What is that? Uh, I tap into the creature's nightmares and create an image that will uh, basically scare the shit out of it. Uh, it needs to make a 17 wisdom saving throw. They ruined it in 5th edition. Or take 4d10. It was such a and good then... spell in 3.5. It's mm -hmm. a pretty good spell now. Nah, no, it's, it's 3.5 and below. It was save or die. Almost. This isn't. Well, that's because save or die was fucking stupid. Uh, <laughs> I said it, and I won't even take it back. Uh, what's my DC 17, you said? Yeah. Okay, I have rolled a 17, so... Ah, uh, all right. Uh, then bonus action, I will get another tail from beyond and expend another bardic inspiration for myself. Oh, did I just end your phantasmal killer spell? Uh, yeah, on a successful save, the spell ends. So it's... Yeah, sorry about it. He'll put... Uh, so I don't have to take 4d10 4 D damage? Yeah, sorry about it. <laughs> He's so broken up. Uh, What's your I new tail from the punch bowl? Two, which gives me which one? Tail of the renew renowned duelist. So that that'll be my turn then. Okay. Um, Sleepy Sleeperson is still asleep. Cesar. <laughs> okay. Um. How? much do I want to be an ass for this? Um, so Cesar is going to like start walking and yelling. Because mm -hmm. um, I'm still in silence, right? 
Yes, you are. Right. So I'm going to move my movement. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Just like, you just see him like open his mouth and start walking over here. Yeah, so as, as soon as you cross you know, about like 10 or 12 feet from where you were, Mm-hmm. You you come out and so what's what song is it that you're singing? Oh no, not no, it's just it's just a scream. It's just a yell. Ah. I see. Wait, now I thought I thought you were gonna be singing Deo or something, and that oh. was gonna be the best <laughs> clip ever. <laughs> I am not mentally prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, so you are out of the silence. Um, you have a, a guy over here who seems to be trucking it similar to the guy that you talked into leaving earlier. There's this guy here by Keed who looks pretty fresh. And there's this guy over here who would you cast the silence and is keeping the concentration going on it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna whip around. It's the one, um, Alexander's looking at because I'm going to imagine like I, I see him out the corner of my eye as I cross the or get to the end of that building. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to whirl around and I'm going to shoot a guiding bolt at him. Yeah, you are. Uh, I'm going to knock this thing up to second level. Woo! Big spender, you. Is that a 25 to hit? A 25 to hit. Yeah, that's that's going to hit. 20 points of damage. Oofta, doofta. And uh, silence drops. Uh, suddenly, I don't know that anyone is still in the silence sphere, uh, but it is no longer. Snoring. It is no longer up. Uh, yeah, you you actually you hit him in the chest and sit his ass down. So now he's like seated and looking at you, not really knowing what the hell just happened. And Guiding Bolt adds something else, right? Is it advantage on the next person to hit him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a melee or as any attack? Um, And the next attack roll made against the target. Next attack roll. Okay, copy that. What else, sir? Uh, I don't know. The one all the way out there is too far for me to do anything to it, but I don't want him running off telling his friends. Um, you see his mace. You see his mace on the ground right okay. here. Okay. So, uh, which one is guiding bolted right now? The this one guy. in the back uh, of the corner of the this hospital. Spellcaster. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. Easily um, within range of you. Yeah, I can get to just about anybody. <laughs> so monks man blizzap to the one or in the house on the on the corner and i'm gonna like flourish the trident around and then uh point it to the one that's uh about that's on a uh, on keyed okay so just to flourish a uh, a display yep okay that anything else mm, nope nope that'll be it okay Careless, you were like oh, yeah. 70 feet in the air or something silly like that. 60 feet in the air. So I fly 30 feet these, this way. Mm-hmm. And I... Is there anything... I want to know where this creature come from. Oh, I'm summoned. sorry. Let me open that. Was it summoned up. from something? I'm hoping uh, Ferial's there. No one there. No one there. Oh, that's disappointing. I say, and I point round at this guy, mm-hmm. and my hex transfers to him, and I proceed to punish. This is where I roll three natural ones. Oh no, it's pretty good. Eighteen's the lowest. Uh, and <laughs> those will all three hit. Oofa doofa. So that is 15, 30, 37, 44 damage. (laughs) 
uh, bringing him to his knees. Uh, Keed, you're you're there, and you see the Eldritch Blast coming at him, but he doesn't. And just as they strike him, just his eyes are wide, and he's he's in another world. He has no fucking clue what happened, and now he is on his knees in front of you. He's he still has hit points, but that is a crushing, crushing blow. Um, anything else, sir? Nah, I can't do anything as a bonus. A I've done my bonus action. I'm good. Okay. Move on to the spellcaster. Who is... going to use the dash action and I'm going to open up a little bit uh, what you guys can see here since you're so much closer now um why don't you give me a... I mean, I'm 60 foot up. Can I not see all around this house? You you can. There's just nothing to... Okay. Yeah, it was just like when, when Alexander asked me. There's just nothing else to see. Okay. Um, trying to keep... Trying to keep it focused, Jade. Um, Alexander, why don't you roll me a 1d20 and tell me if it's even or odd. Tell me if it's muted or not. It is even. All right. So this thing here, whatever this uh, like structure or whatever is, you lost sight of him as he ducked behind it. Um. Oh, ah, sorry. That was... Oh, that should be revealing. There we go. Uh, yeah, you lost sight of him as he went behind that. Can I okay. see him? Can you uh, ping it, no. please? This thing? I'm not seeing, seeing the ping. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's north of out. us. It's north. He yeah, used a dash action. Out. Uh, he went over a fence? Yeah. Yeah, there's a loose plank. To be honest, I didn't realize that was a fence, but now no, that I, see I just it, I just assumed it was like a low waist high fence, and he just kind of scrambled over. It no, was I a low the, the waist fear. high fence, and he scrabbled over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Pike. Mm -hmm. Um, and Bertram is now no, I'm gonna turn. Go, I'm gonna go catch him anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Let him go. <laughs> I mean, there's still no. this. There is still this guy here that is an yeah, active. Yeah, he's fine. And <laughs> the guy that you just knocked out. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, they're, so, they're both fine. Where you want to head? Uh, so that's base movement gets me to there. And then... Darn it. 90 feet's not so far anymore, is it? Oh no, I can I can be right next to him. Yep, I can get right next to him. The best thing in the world is splitting the party. Uh alright, yeah, man. Come here. Come here. I can't move my thing enough at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna move dash dash and yeah. peek my head around the corner and say where are you he, going bud he's like oh, oh, oh shit <laughs> and he turns around <laughs> not even breathing hard I'm just where do you uh where do you think you're going uh anything else that you can do this turn uh no that's it keyed so this guy's eyes almost bugged out in your lap 
when Carolus drilled him in the back with three Eldritch Blasts. Finish and him. he did... Mm. And, he, and he's mm. on his knees in front of you now. Mm. Not like groveling, he was just knocked down onto his knees. All right. Um, I guess I'll deal with him in a minute. I'm going to shoot, um, pull another arrow and shoot this person. The guy who's threw his weapon down and is running away? Yes. All I right. am going to say no witnesses. <laughs> You, Why not? I am going to say <laughs> yeah, surrender. Yeah, no witnesses. <laughs> surrender as I shoot him with the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> he already surrendered. <laughs> no, he ran away. He didn't surrender. I this is I your like fault, I'm buddy. You created the murder hobos. <laughs> <laughs> your attack. That's, That's a hit. A 20. Please roll your damage. Uh... That's a five. Why are you resisting? <laughs> oh He's my dead. God. Yeah. You, he was trying to get out of this bad situation. And now he's taking a dirt nap. Oh my God. Wait, so which one of these was uh, Fargo's kid? <laughs> 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 this, this I guess you'll know after you look at the bodies. Oh, great. All right. And on that note, I am going to look at the person on his knees right next to me and tell him, you are going to surrender or you will be hurt more. And I want to uh, ready my um, starry archer if he decides to attack if that's possible it's as uh, a bonus action well the uh, you can't use I an can't. action and then ready Re ready oh, okay. is your action and so you've already been right. your action this round okay that's fine but you can still say that to him I'm definitely saying that to him alright anything else nope I'm not moving he, uh, he, he looks, he looks up at you and uses half his movement to stand up and he says, I understand, but you can also go fuck yourself and he'll make <laughs> two swings on you. <sighs> uh, so that's going to be a 16 and a 13. The 16 hits, but the 13 is tied with mine. It's a uh, contest. All right, roll it up. Let's see what you get. D20, right? D one D20, yeah. I thought you said you got a 20, because I got an 18. Oh, that's a three. All right. So then those are eights. I'm going to do uh, 18 points of slashing damage. He is defiant. And uh, he will not move away from you. He is, you've seen the this kind of look before. This this man is, he's a veteran. He's He knows what the deal is. He knows what he's in for. He's unwavering. Um, This guy's not gonna do anything because he's dead. Alexander. Oh, geez, I just I just saw Careless's <laughs> measurement tool. I was like, shit, is he gonna Eldritch Blast that guy out from under Bertram? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go Maybe. ahead and uh, I'm expecting it, but yeah. That was gonna be part of my, my persuasion next next round anyway. <laughs> I shall slowly go ahead and descend 30 feet and I will viciously mock the individual that's trying to still attack Ked yeah. and just yell at him like, why are you even trying? No one's that much of a professional. They ain't paying you that much. Come on, man. Are you really, is your life really worth 10 gold right now? 
for a 17 wisdom save, please. <clears throat> this is not going to go well. <laughs> it didn't. It was an 11. Please and roll damage. She'll, she'll take... Wow. Only eight. Eight damage. I mean, you say only eight, but if you knew how many hit points he had... Oh. I mean, he is... He is fucked up. Uh, then, anything else, sir? Nope. That'll be that'll be my turn. I'm at 15 feet above the ground now. Okay. Uh, Nappy Napperson is still napping. Cesar. Okay. Um. Unconscious. Or... Uh, this guy is unconscious. This guy, Rinch is still, guys. Rinch guy is determined still, but he oh, is good. he is fucked up. He he's he's already he's already said uh, uh, this is my hill to die on. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, cool, cool, much, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Because what I'm gonna do is, um, oh, no. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna run up on him Naruto style. Uh like <laughs> Love it so far. <laughs> um dragging uh one of my hands like along the ground until it um catches like it it, it, it the ground doesn't make it catch on fire, but like what I want it to look like is that like I drag my palm, like my gauntlet on the ground, like sparks, and then it catches fire. And I'm going to run right up to this dude and just sacred flame right onto him. Yeah, you are. That was that was the most anime I've ever, I've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> uh, yes, he's got to be to 16. Oh, it's I was like, a 16 doesn't hit, but it's a dirty nope, save. <laughs> Uh, that is a dirty 20 deck save. Uh, Do you still take, does he still fine. take half, though? I half think save? so. God, I'll just... Just quickly, Lord Gazam was just raided with 101 people. Jay! Oh, oh wow! Gosh. Thank you very much. Wait, did they see my cool thing? Did they hear my cool thing I did? <laughs> <laughs> we'll rewind, we'll rewind. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, gosh, thank massive, you so much. Massive thank you. Uh, guys, obviously, that I've just joined in, welcome. We are doing. We are sponsored by Crack and Dice. So, if you would like to win some uh, store credit to Crack and Dice, we're giving away twenty-five dollars. So, exclamation mark giveaway to enter for that. It costs ten gold, but if you follow, you get ten gold straight away. So, uh, please jump in that. And massive, massive, massive thank you, Jay, and welcome to everyone. Thank you very much. And so Z said that they joined right after you made the description, and so I rem <laughs> I forget what you said. So why don't you tell us again, Cesar? Uh, exactly yeah, so I, 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 I run across the, uh, the the 15 feet up to this guy with one of my arms stretched out, dragging my gauntlet of palm across the ground so it sparks and then looks like it catches fire so I can make the sacred flame engulf in my hand as I throw it in this dude's face. <laughs> but and if he made the save, it doesn't say uh, if he only takes half. Well, yeah, is that, so a, is that a cantrip? It is a cantrip. Then he's probably yeah. If it, yeah, if it doesn't say that he takes half, then you, you, you Naruto run over and drag your glove around, and it comes up on fire, and you just put it right in his face, and it just, just he just licks oh, it and puts it right yeah, out. Yeah, just, just <laughs> right, right around his face, not even singeing his beard. Uh, but it you looks know what? That's what really I get. cool. <laughs> it looks um, really cool. I have never been so upset to not have a second action in my life. <laughs> Action economy. Thanks, 5e. Um, you uh, move your token over if you would, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else you would like to try to do to this man? Yeah, there's things I would like to try to do to this man, but I can't because I only have one action. <laughs> hmm. Phrasing. I play. I play wizard in other games. I have no sympathy for you. <laughs> uh, Careless. Um, obviously, seeing that one still there. And looking quite confused why he's still up. I'm just. <laughs> I'm letting you know, I wouldn't devote more than one uh, of I, your Elvis Blast at him initially. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I was like, look at it, I just. That's weird. And then I flicker an Elvis <laughs> Blast at him. 
Probably missing uh, my luck, yes. <laughs> ah, that's a miss. That, that missed? Okay, I'll try again. I think that's missed as well. And I'm like, that's this a is miss really, as well. really sucking. And I'll try for the third time. And for a 24. That's a hit. And that will be... And uh, this is why he's still standing. 18 yeah, the, the first damage. two were just toying with him. Yeah. It's like, you gotta, you I'm gotta unnerve him 18. first. He goes down for a dirt nap. Just teasing him. Um, and then yeah, I, and you you faintly hear the uh, Elton John "I'm Still Standing" theme song trail off as he finally goes down. And then I move thirty foot up to try and steal Bertram's glory. <laughs> All right. Anything? That's anything me. else for you? Uh, am I within sixty foot? So we look. No, that's me dumb. <clears throat> I mean, not to you. You can fly over the house, right? You don't have to fly around it. Yeah, but then I wouldn't see him if he's behind this thing. So. Oh, okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Uh oh my goodness! I kind of wish you were able to take him out because now it's his turn. Mm -hmm. Um. Decisions must be made. Decisions. I, must I be say made. to him, <laughs> he's just looking at me. Well, he's gonna put both of his hands up in a pseudo surrender pose, and he's gonna stretch one forward and cast Toll the Dead. So I need a Wisdom saving throw, please. Ah, you dingus! This is a spell, right? Yes. Advantage on saves yeah. burst spells. Uh, four, 16 total. Uh, 16. Damn. Yeah, you, you beat him. His, his DC was 15. Uh, yeah, so he, the, the Toll the Dead just, just like Cesar running up to the other guy with the sacred flame gauntlet, he tries to do the same thing to you, having not seen it not work for Cesar. And you 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 feel the, the magic just slide past your face and around you. Okay. And uh Yeah. And he says, Well, I guess I made my choice. And now it is your turn. I wish you hadn't done that. And <coughs> I'm really I'll glad take, I got to the I'll guy take my, duty. Take my wooden sword and I'm just gonna just try to cl club him into submission. <laughs> uh, first hit. 16. That hits. All right. You can go ahead and make, I'm gonna stunning strike this guy. So you can go ahead and make that save. <laughs> or uh, not make it. What's, what's, what am I doing on this? Con so save. Saved? Con save. Con save, DC 14. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Oh, okay. What's his damage? I'm working on it, sorry. Um, and I will burn the key point for that one, too. So, six, nine damage on that one. Okay, minus nine. Yep. Okay. Still up? Uh, second. Oh, yeah, he's... 14. He's... He's a uh, 14 to hit. Well, will hit. He's a little confused at why you're whacking him with a wooden sword, to be honest. Yeah, uh, just, yeah that, just that, four, that 14 hits. Clobbered him in the head until he goes out. Uh, seven points of damage and another con save. Okay. Uh, this one was much less good. Uh, that was only a 12. Uh, stunned. And I'll burn another key point and flurry blows. Uh, go to sleep, yeah, go man. to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> uh, that's a 25 and a 22 to hit. Yeah, those, those both two. hit. Okay. Okay. Uh, five plus six, 11 total for both of those hits. He is just barely hanging on to consciousness. If if you went 
he would probably lose the remaining hit points he has and fall over. He, well, you, uh, he, is, he think... is as as up as he can be without being down. <laughs> Fair enough. I considered uh, burning a smite, but that felt like overkill, but now I wish I'd probably done it, but whatever. Uh, anything else, sir? No, that's all. And I said, he... well, I'll, I'll just look at him and say, like, all right, why, why don't you come on, come on back and uh, we'll just talk this out. I got a, I got a flying, I got a flying dude. He's gonna take you out in like two <coughs> seconds. He's nice. He's, he's, you're not getting I, out of this one. Come on I, back. I we'll will, talk it through. I will say that in his eyes, you, you do not see any quit in his eyes. Help me help you, man. Let's come it's, on back. We'll have a talk. Now it kind of looks like he's he's saying fuck you with his eyes. Um, Ooh, bedroom eyes, he said. Bedroom, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like Nine Inch Nails bedroom. Um, Kinky. Uh, we can go back to Red, <laughs> the, the leather guy. We can go back to him. Uh, Key just had to step away for just a moment, so we'll come back to her. Um, that guy's not going to do anything because he's dead. Um, that guy is that guy's not going to think because he's dead. There we go. Uh, that guy's sleepy sleeper son. Oh, I think I took Alexander off of the turn order. So, Alexander, you're at the top. So, it's your... Uh, well, he's so far away. Uh, I will... Go ahead and move one, two, three, four, five, six feet. Not six feet. Uh, 30 feet this way. And then uh, let's see. Bardic inspiration is how many feet? 60 feet. Ooh. All right. And I will bardically inspire Bert uh, for a 1d10. With my bonus so action, I, so I can talk to him better. So you can whack him a little harder because I have no idea what's going on over in that corner. I've been busy with the front half of the house and ready in action to shoot my crossbow, my hand crossbow, if he decides to run away and Bert doesn't take care of him. And he's in okay. my line of vision, basically. So yeah, uh, that's my turn. He's stunned. He can't. He can't actually go anywhere. <laughs> that I've used my <laughs> held my action for no reason, but that's okay. It's yeah. better than not using it at all, I guess. Do you just want me to roll now because it's the last guy? No, 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 no not just yet. Not just yet. There's still some role play. To, there's still some role play to happen. Okay. So, Cesar, you notice behind you the uh, sleepy sleeperson is beginning to stir a little bit, and he's like, "Oh man, did we?" Did we win? Um, he is fully, fully dazed. He is not a a threat or risk at this moment, but he um, is coming to and asking if if his side has won. Uh, do it. Is he is he dazed enough that I can tie him up? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. So he's gonna... sitting on like like one half HP. Yeah, I'm James gonna. I'm, I'm I'm gonna <laughs> with the with the. On it. <laughs> With a, ha, ha. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start tying him up. Yeah 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 man you you won yeah 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 you beat you beat you oh, beat them yeah you beat them all real real fucking good. adventures mm -hmm. suck man oh the so the they were oh, wimps compared just, to all the uh I think we're gonna pay for this man it's, oh did we fuck up the house are we okay oh, the, is everything the, no the house the house is good the house is good. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and so, mm -hmm. Keen, as well, I know that we passed your turn over because you were away, but uh, you see Cesar tying this guy up um, and commiserating now, with him about how their side won. I will... Um, I'll start moving the bodies, the few bodies that there are, um, over into one spot, probably, like, right here, um, near the bushes. 
Um, sorry, ping again where you want to start moving things to? Sorry, it wasn't pinging yep. right here near gotcha, the bushes, gotcha. so they're not is easily your, seen. Is your pinger broke too? <laughs> no, I was on the ruler. <laughs> All right, so we'll say that. <laughs> We'll say this turn that you can get, if you want to move your token over, you can get that guy uh, mm -hmm. dragged over to your burn pile. Uh, anything uh, else on your turn? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I don't think I've got anything else in plan on my turn. Okay. Careless, the moment is now yours. Don't uh, worry, Bertram, I'm coming. I fly closer. Shift my hex <laughs> over to him. I, I think I think we're good. I think we're good, careless. Okay, you sure? Like, oh my god. <laughs> 16 with Eldritch Blast. Uh, yeah. 22 and a crit. Why are you Ooh. rolling an advantage now? Because he's stunned. He's stunned. Oh my god. <laughs> this man is no more. <laughs> so that is 17. Yeah, total all that up for me if you would. Okay, yeah. Does he just pop into like so a we got spray? 17, 28, uh, uh, 28, 38, 44, 48 damage. Uh, 50 I, damage, sorry. I hear Carolus call out and I'm sorry, bud. And I'll just <laughs> cock my head to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Bertram, if you've ever wondered what it would look like for someone to turn into mist, um, you don't have to wonder that anymore. I will tell you that he had one hit point remaining. He had a <laughs> oh total, total of 49 hit points and you just put 50 on him. So he went to minus 49, which is insta dead. And we're going to say that he just turned into a vapor. Vaporized. Yeah. <laughs> Can I talk to his ghost? Um, you know, there's not enough pieces of a body to reassemble. It was, sorry, it was to 54, 54 damage. Just to give him a I'm sorry, right. then he goes to um Maths is down, minus uh, fifty three. Minus fifty three. Yeah. Okay. Um is he still alive? That's a bad day. He is not <laughs> still alive. Um Well done, everyone. Uh I don't even though is this that guy a little gnarly, thing? folks? <laughs> it was really easy, wasn't it? So, so, so we're not um, taking signs of surrender as signs of surrender. I see. Who's who surrendered? Uh, no one. No, no, no one surrendered. We took care of everyone here. Oh, that's right. No one surrendered. The one dude just dropped his weapon and ran, but we didn't know where he was running to. He didn't say he surrendered. And I You're just real big on the, like the whole down. big verbal cue thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right, only way you can get the honest. No, I just stop. I'm just just keeping Hands that up. just keeping that in mind for myself at some point. Yeah, for sure. I, I just got another potential title for the uh, for the episode. Um, <laughs> so, my friends, we. Uh, what was that big thing we, with we, the eye? We dealt with this. Yeah, I want to go take a look at that thing because the fact that they're right. around with that thing is hmm. not good. So yeah, yeah. So you guys can all move over to it. Um, yeah, like so. the random brutes and toughs I can deal with, but if they're working with yeah weird eyeball monsters. That doesn't sit well with me. Um, I'm gonna bring the guy tied up over to it, and just be like, "What's what? What? What is it? What is this? What? What? What is this?" Uh, to be coherent, you might have to give him a little bit of a of a heal. He because he is still in like full ass days. Oh, okay, all right. He can ha he can have a I little can, bit of healing. I have I can one last good berry. Oh, that'll work. I can lay on hands yeah. if we need to as well. Oh, I'll give him the good berry first. That's one uh, health. Yeah, he will. Uh, 
he'll come back up to a full one from a one half to a full one. And uh oh gosh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Thanks so mm-hmm. Uh, you're, you're, so much. you're welcome. You're welcome. And then take it he's, in. He's, he, yeah, he starts taking in. He's take take my it in. Hands take. are bound. Mm-hmm. None of you are on my side. Well, yes, no, the, no. The, wait, the wait dead now. Creature in front of him. We, we, we might be on your side. How did he tell you? We might be having a rough night tonight. Depends how this plays out. Ah, uh, okay. That's uh astute of you I would show you your friends but their parts are everywhere <laughs> anyway talk so Please. uh so what what did what's this what's this thing what's what? your name first let's get acquainted no you do I don't know now you want to be cordial <laughs> oh, well, nice no, I never just know what this guy he just wants me to come up with a name uh, oh, we're on nice the stream. People, so. what's, what's your name, sir? <laughs> um, um, it's 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 Lee. <laughs> you asked for that. <laughs> he's, he's tied up, isn't he? Uh, yes, yes, he's tied up. Hang on a minute. So that's advantage. Don't oh, wait. Don't <laughs> 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 wait. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's, they call me Lee, but it's short for Billy. Okay, Billy. Okay. What's this creature? Tell us now. Oh, I get it. Okay, I, I hate it. <laughs> uh, this, what this, am I this missing? Isn't, this Billy? Is, this oh, well, yes. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> Stop interrupting me. What did you say? Sorry. Tell us. <laughs> this is a... This is a nothic. What's one of them? It's a, uh, it's an aberration from, from from beyond. Yes, key that in in O T H I C. They uh, the the cult uh, bring them in sometimes. Uh, who's your boss? <laughs> well, I think you already know that. Uh, Oh yeah, I just wanted to we're, make sure. We're we're hired by by Farrell. And who's? Hmm. You don't know who Farrell is? Well, of course we know. Who oh, we we is. he's got his. He, uh, Where is he? I, I I don't know. You you guys came here and and separated from him, and he told us to to make ready and kill anyone who showed up, and then he hightailed it out. Oh. All right, that's gonna be a problem for us later. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Alexander, I thought you said that spell was good. Hey, I I told you if there's things he he's not going to remember the true part. He's not going to remember that she was demanding an apology and he wasn't going to give it to her. He might not he might think it was not true though. And, but he won't remember that we attacked him. Basically, he's just gonna know that we screwed with him somehow. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, or at least somebody screwed with him. Might not have been us. Was not. But I mean, let's be honest. How how solid was this? We offered to turn you into a tortoise, and pretty solid. Yeah. I, what what the. F- What's going on? What are you guys don't, talking don't look about? At them. Don't look at them. Look at me. Look at me now. Oh, okay. Okay. I will where destroy are, you. <laughs> where, are the, where are the kids? Yeah, the kids. I'm okay. sorry. You're going to have to be more specific about that. The mayor's. Whoa, sister, that's not a good start, bud. The 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 uh, tavern man's son. You know the the children you round up for your cult. They're not where are the children. Kids? They're young adults. Yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I, I'm. I'm a mercenary from Waterdeep. I, I know that the, the 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 burnt tongue cult here is into some weird shit. But I I was Write hired to yep. I yep. was hired to protect Feral. Oh. Well, you did a great job of that, didn't you? What's the uh, explain well, this te- cult? Well, te- technically, he is still alive, so I'm I think I'm still doing okay. Hmm. What's this? Uh, what's this cult? 
Burnt Town Cult. What's that about? <sighs> it's the weird shit that Lord Vialis is into. There's hey. a Cesar. Hmm? Can you talk to that one? And she's going to gesture to the one she didn't get to move yet. To oh, uh, or any well, of the okay. ones I'll, with robes. That's okay. I'll just I'll just wait, giving you important information while you guys talk about an entirely different plan. No, give us cool. it now. Pretty good at this intimidation shit. You you you, for, Mouthy for one. Somebody sitting here with the arm side up. Cast three old blasts between it, these legs. It's not. It's not the the first time I've had Eldritch Blast between my legs. I've been tied up and been almost you're nasty. You're, you're nasty is what you is. Now hush. I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> what are I they? Move, I move. <laughs> I move very quickly. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, clear. Oh, gonna seven clear. Back. I, seven I'm gonna let you know. One. Not the first time for this either, honey. You, you. Nasty. I'm gonna let go. You nasty. I'm gonna let oh, go right no, on. No. Okay. Oh, right. He uh, right. he he does not react like the guy back in town. Like this guy, much like the guy who would not back down from you. To paraphrase here, this guy has seen some shit. Um, I don't know if I should be impressed as. Are disturbed by this, guys. Yeah, you can. Well, you can be both. Yeah, can, can be both. Uh, on, on a personal note, as a DM, this is the group I was expecting last week. I'm glad that you're all here <laughs> playing now. <laughs> the man who's actually giving you the information you want. Now you have threatened and shit on him. Yes, that's the that's that's my candle keep group that I've been waiting to oh. find. <laughs> now we've done. I say to him, now we've done that. Carry on. Oh, all, all, all right, all right. Um, Stink. Carry on. Burnt tongue cult. I. Yeah. Oh, we back to the point where I'm giving you. No, we're back to the point yes, now. All right. <laughs> can't control the, the centaur. For when she needed to go. You she can't, has to go. You cannot I'm... hold that against her. So where were we? Burnt tongue cult. Yeah. The weird shit that Lord Vialis is into. I, see. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, he's got like like keyed insides just like <laughs> all over him, and he's not even flinching a beat. You were all seriously at least a little bit impressed about the fact that you might kill this man that nothing really bothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know there's some dark spirit or something that he worships that uh he he has to sacrifice prisoners to to channel the power. Oh, and, I uh, hated that. And that's uh, somehow he uses that to bring, and he tries to gesture and then just does it with his shoulder, bring things like the Nothics through. Um, this these are the only things I've seen, but I've heard stories that there are other abominations that uh, that he foists upon the world. Does a uh, retribution of the angels mean anything to you? What? He thinks. I can't say that it does. Mm. All right. One last one. One last question for you. The Alice is keep. How do we get in? The the house here, or the new one that he's building? The new one that he's building. I've only been past it once. It's the, it was a, a, a ruined tower that they've been refurbishing, but I will say they've been refurbishing it for every bit of four or five years. And even the dumbest, stupidest peckerwood, like any of you, would mm. be able to rebuild a tower in four years. Mm -hmm. Yet they're always in progress of and you can see him make air quotes behind his own back. He was in progress of rebuilding it and making it some nice place. So uh, I don't know if if he's there, then he's living in a tent outside it, or it may be something else entirely. 
That's not if great. He, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, if he's not rebuilding the tower, he's probably planning on doing something to make that at a much bigger scale. Yeah, that's probably not, not far off of the truth. Well, it also begs the question, what is he using all of the, the workmen for? I hold up the thing, it, like... I'm sorry, what do you, what do you, what do you hold up? Uh, the Nothic. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, they're just quick con men snatch artists. I mean, they pull travelers off the road in the middle of the night and and bring them there uh, I assume to sacrifice for and he will nod toward the Nothic for as you say things like that yeah how many men the I, I I don't know I, again I'm I'm a mercenary for hire out of water deep I've never even met Vialis I've only heard stories about him where's Vialis keep his gold he just said. He just I, said. I, he does, I don't don't know that he, don't, that he, don't. That he cares. Have you checked his house here? There may be gold in his house here. I, I have no idea. I'll do that now, and I'll go head off. <laughs> Wait. Shall I kill him first? No, no, no don't kill him. Okay. Uh, I would like to roll Arcana to see if this thing somehow relates to the yellow that I remember. From my readings beforehand, what was it? The Yellow Lord. Hmm. Okay. Would that that's Arcana, correct? Sure. Yeah, we can do that. It, 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 unless there's something else you think it might be under, but I'm happy I mean, with, with an Arcana roll. Seventeen for Arcana. Um, nothing about this thing is really yellow, um, and nothing really about it is lordly. So. It doesn't. It, maybe there's some sort of esoteric through line, but the, there doesn't seem to be a match. Uh, I was wondering if it was like yellow lords up here, and then like subservient in a way. Like if this gotcha. is a servant of it. Uh, hard to hard to kind of deduce that. I mean, you know that mm -hmm. if he is party to summoning these things, he probably is in control of it somehow. Gotcha. So all the missing townsfolk, the uh, young Fargo and and the mayor's sister, are they? They're not part of the sacrifices, are they? I'm, just, uh, I'm, I'm as, sure of, I as of I, as of I right now. That that's my assumption. I, I didn't know people were missing. That's we, a bad uh, sign. We're not. We're not really farm hands. We're just hired muscle. No, we got picked up on that. Thanks, bud, for spelling that out there. Keyed like specificity, so I appreciate that. For mm. but uh, well, I appreciate you being mouthy back to me since I have already told you I don't know anything about missing town people, but that's cool. I'll just yeah. sit here covered in shit and tied up. You knew an awful well, lot about the cultists, though. I don't, yeah, so I know it sounds like an average Tuesday night mercenaries, for you, man. Mercenaries talk. I've been in this game for a long time. All right, you want to be in this game another another day? Perhaps. What's the what's the price? Your your life? A, a, am I assuming that wrong? I thought we made that perfectly clear. It, if know. if you got if you got word to any more of your mercenary men in the area, call them off. Uh, I mean, I'll do what I can. The only person that holds the that ability is Pharaoh because he controls the contracts. All right. Well, then tell them what you saw here today. And tell them to go find another job. Yeah, I think. Uh, if you think if it, you make it if you make it to the water deep docks, you might find one other one that is that's gonna believe you. And don't don't kill him. <laughs> Let him get out of town. Don't Did you say me. kill him. No. <laughs> there was a big fat no in front of that. D O N T. Don't know how that makes no, but it does. <laughs> <laughs> you 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 use it in a sentence. You just <laughs> use it in a. Hurry. <laughs> I'm raiding the house. 
I'm pretty sure that's all, that's all he knows. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the the, the or untie. I'm not gonna cut the rope. It's a good rope. It's my, it's my good shit, rope. You got shit all over your hands now. Um, I'll cast yeah he uh, Jason to clean up his rope for him so it doesn't look and or smell like shit's on it anymore. The uh, the the prisoner that you untie, he, he makes no hostile move other than to. Like he watches you clean the rope and then he kind of like looks at himself and he looks at you and he goes, really? It's asking a whole lot, but I mean, hey, I could you do You said you were into this kind of stuff. I figured you want it on all day. No, you said I was into it. I said right, it wasn't the right. first time I'd seen it. Look, look, look away, look, look away. And I'm going to use create water <laughs> and hose him down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're clean now. I it's the best I can do. He's not gonna help you. So now he's sitting in pooey water. Okay, <laughs> good. he will. Uh, he will. He will graciously, semi graciously shake his head and say, "Thank you." As uh, all right. It, may I leave? Uh, get yeah, the hell out of here. Go. Here. Yeah. Right. He he will stand up uh, slowly, non-threateningly. Uh, he will not try to recover a weapon or anything, and he will just head off. Uh, I'll look out the door. So, oh, is he going? Hey, you want to look at my deck again? Why don't you come look over it? On, I cast polymorph on him. God damn it. God <laughs> damn I it. I tried. I can't counter spell it or anything. I don't, I don't know what to... <laughs> At least it's okay. polymorph. At least I, he didn't get uh, banished to a plane of fire or something. What do you want to turn him into? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's so hard because you don't know what it is. I was just going to say a rat so he can... So he might okay. get swiped on the way out. But Oh, my God. Uh, you can do that. You can turn him into a rat. Yeah. He, uh... Well, wisdom, <laughs> wisdom save, so... Oh, I, I can save against that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah okay. Uh... Oh man, I wish I could pick my camera up and show you. That's fucking cracking. Oh, is it? Oh, no. uh, You're lucky. He uh, he 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 stops, and then just continues walking. He does not turn around to confront, or any. He's he is trying to be in this game for one more day. You're lucky, I can't do it again. <laughs> well, to my you point, to I didn't say don't kill. I guess they don't kill him, and that wasn't. That's true. Anyway, let's loot uh, the place. I'm gonna <laughs> rip this place apart. All right, uh, let's go. At, at Farrell's house. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing much of value. There, there. There's paperwork from him collecting the taxes from the water deep businesses, but it actually all looks kind of on the up and up. Um, hmm. there's no gold stashed or weapon stashed or anything. He uh. Either he made off with whatever he has here, knowing that shit was about to go sideways, or he has somewhere else that he stores things. Or downstairs or something. All right, so let's go look at a... Uh, or get ready to head over to um, the old house and see what's over there, and then... Okay. In the interest of time, I will tell you that there is nothing of interest in his house. It It seems as though that house has been almost abandoned um the the doors are locked but they're they're easily and the windows are shuttered and curtained um it, it's it's pretty easy to force the door though um the kitchen and the main room show signs of semi recent use but i mean maybe it's been like a couple of months like there there's definitely dust on everything uh but there are no there's no furniture. There are no, you know, paintings. There's no silverware or, or dinnerware. It, it, it is as huh. though this is just an empty ass house. Are there any grave sites on the property? No, you you <laughs> search around for a bit and and don't find nothing that is marked. Let's say uh, maybe there have been, you know, graves buried four or five years ago. But well, no, specifically not his his wife and his daughter that everyone says he brought down here right yeah the if they are they are not marked there's nothing 
That's weird. Oh, he. We, well, we know he resurrected them. He he brought them back. There's got to be that, isn't it? Do we know this? I'm we don't know that for sure. Yeah, it's looking more and more to be that way. Hmm. Is it really necromancer, or is it more like? Well, we know he's a necromancer. summoner because of the of the one eyed bitch. I'm thinking summoner. Why not both? Um, <laughs> why why not both? And that's actually a good a good question. Um, so it, well, between the the fights, the house, can I get a short mm, rest? Uh, between the fight I, I, I and searching wanna... around, for sure, for sure, it has been. It, yeah. You spent you know a few hours kind of tossing Farrell's house and mm-hmm. tossing um, uh, Vialis's house and stuff, and so uh, for sure we'll we can say short rests all around. Um, but Keed, with your druid craft earlier, you the twenty four hours of weather supposed to be very nice, very pleasant, gentle breeze, um, and kind of almost kind of out of nowhere, a a giant storm just quickly begins rolling in. Um, there's regular lightning. There's elements of lazy lightning where it is kind of at normal speed and then it, it'll slow down and then it'll kind of finish off. Um, hmm. The rain alternates between being kind of normal rain and rain that kind of stings and, and burns a little bit. Um, but the, the, the weather is definitely getting, getting worse. Would you guys like to go back to the bulging yeah, cauldron? So, yeah, let's get out of the. This rain is not normal. No, it's not. It's great. not. It was supposed to be sunny all day. It was supposed to be a beautiful day. This also, isn't natural. Hurts. Yeah, it does hurt. And I've actually pulled out of my packs um, a a uh, horse blanket that I throw over my backside so that uh, mm. that doesn't hurt from the rain. Okay. Key, you're uh, not you're not helping the whole saddle argument there. I just want you to. I mean, I just want, I'm, I'm just looking. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you guys uh, make it back to the bulging cauldron, and and old Fargo ushers you inside, and. He looks at it. That's that's the goddamnedest thing. It was a pretty day. And this is just out of nowhere. It's not natural. Yeah, you say that again, sister. It's not natural. <laughs> God damn it. And that is where we're going to end this evening. Yeah. Ah, ah. ah, we're so close. Like I we're can so uh. close. You're so uh. close. <laughs>